Hey, welcome back. Happy Monday. We're going to build in The Sims today, which should be fun. And as I promised, we're going to do a limited pack build, but using like random packs. We're going to do a little randomizer situation to see what to build today. It should be kind of fun. We were talking about doing that on Saturday, so I figured we could do it today. Um, but um, haunted, what does that even mean? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, hi everybody, welcome back. Happy Monday. I am feeling a little bit better today, which is a huge improvement upon the uh, COVID from last week. <laughs> so yesterday and today have been better. Um, I'm very relieved, I must say. <laughs> very, very, very relieved. Are you, Aki? Well, hey, I'm sorry to interrupt myself if you're watching my YouTube video. I get that a lot at the beginning of my stream. People are like, I was just watching your video. <laughs> And now all of a sudden I'm here again. <laughs> um, but anyway, hello, welcome back. Um, I got the game open and ready. We'll, we'll do some building and stuff in a few minutes here today. It should be a good time. Um, Alice and Echo and also Color and Flip, Kayla <laughs> uh, and Aaron and Eo and, and uh, Mike and Comfy and Lillian. Also uh, uh, Sydney and, and Maleficent. Thank you Katsu with the subs. Thank you all so much. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Welcome in. You were speed watching the video <laughs> to make it on time. Fair enough. Um, okay, anyway. <laughs> um, I don't know exactly what we're going to build. That's what I was just telling chat is we're going to do a little pack randomizer. I want to wait until people, more people are here because we just went live, but uh, we're going to use James's pack randomizer and figure out what packs to use and then build with that. So I have no idea what it's gonna be like. <laughs> also, um, kind of exciting news, although maybe news is the wrong word. It's like half news. There's half news about The Sims because uh, it sounds like the new stuff pack trailer is gonna come out tomorrow. They posted this. Um, so tomorrow at 8 a.m. Pacific time, um, tune in for some dazzling news and there's a YouTube premiere linked, um, which I can only assume is this dazzling stuff pack they talked about in the whatever, what was it called? Quarterly teaser, like a few weeks ago. Um, so we should be getting a stuff pack trailer tomorrow, which should be kind of interesting. I don't really know what to expect out of that. Them showing off like the rock here is really interesting to me because it's like probably gonna be using the gems that you find as collectibles. Um, but I'm wondering if it's gonna be like, my first thought was like jewelry making or like something along those lines. I also, I also thought about the gem cutter from The Sims 3. Um, from, there was a, in Supernatural, there was this gem cutter I used to use all the time. That's like how I made all my money was this gem cutter from Supernatural. So that was like my initial takeaway, but who knows what it'll be like tomorrow. Um, I'm really curious. Their stuff packs have been really good recently. Um, and I like the idea of something that will make use of collectibles, which it seems like they're sort of implying from this teaser. But who knows? <laughs> it's like, you can't really make any decisions based on something so simple. It's like, just a rock and then a time. So we'll learn tomorrow, but um, I'm curious. I'm curious. In Supernatural, fairies confirmed. Okay, real quick. I've seen some people saying that. I hope not. It's for sure gonna be a stuff pack. I do not want to see fairies in a stuff pack. I know you're kidding, but... Um, I, yeah, I really don't want, that would be really bad. That's like worst case scenario to me is that if this was fairy related, that would be really bad. <laughs> I would not want, I, fairies should be a game pack like the other occults. It should be like vampires and werewolves, you know, if they did do fairies, but, um, I don't know. I think people just are really excited about the idea of fairies. So they're like trying to push them to fit into literally everything, but I wouldn't want this to be that, you know? Um, that would be bad. <laughs> I'd rather not have it than have it as a stuff pack, you know? <laughs> um, Alexa and Jen and Miss Madeline and, and Counterclockwise, Oscar, uh, also Jenny and, uh, and Sunshine and Ma Mandolin and Avery and Evan and Cahill and Maddie and Hannah and Numbledore, also Bendy and Alyssa and Madison and Kirsty and ECM and Avery and, uh, Rye and Lon and Trayton and DF and also, uh, Marie and Bevy and Redhead and Lex. How much did I miss? <laughs> Becca, thank you all so much. I really appreciate it. We are playing Among Us, Megan. We're playing Among Us on Thursday. So just a couple days from now, we'll be playing Among Us. Um, the plans for this week, uh, today we're going to do a build. Tomorrow we're going to play Not So Berry. And then uh, Wednesdays, we're going to do a little bit of House Slipper in the morning. And Thursdays, Among Us. So that's the plan. 
Um, we usually do like a vote with the Among Us group to see like when the most people are free. Um, and we determined that Thursday was probably the best day. So that is the plan. <laughs> um, we will be doing that in a couple of days. Um, so let me walk you through what today's plan is because we've been jokingly um, talking about how recently <laughs> I've been doing some builds. Like uh, we built this over the weekend um, that used like a million packs, like an insultingly offensive number of packs. And we were like, no, we need to do a limited pack build. We need to like tone this down, limited pack build. And then we were like, what kind of packs, like what would we do? And then we started talking about how it would be kind of fun if we like randomize the packs that we used. Um, James Turner has like a pack randomizer on his website. So we can just pick a random pack and then build with that. Um, among Us will be at this time, Ash. Say, I always stream at this time, except for on Wednesdays. <laughs> when I'm in the morning, but it'll be this time exactly on Thursday. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we'll randomize the packs. We'll pick one expansion, one game pack, and one stuff pack. Um, and then try and build something with it is kind of what I'm thinking to do. Um, I think this is fun, even if you like... Because obviously most of you probably don't have an, a desire to do a limited pack build. Because um, you probably want to just use the packs that you've paid for, you know? <laughs> Which makes sense. But this, I think, is kind of a fun way if you're like, I have no idea what to build. This might be kind of fun for you to, to like, put the packs that you have. Because you can mark off the ones that you don't. You can just click them so they go away. Um, but you could be like, I don't know what I want to build. And then try and use a randomizer to give you an idea of a pack to focus on. Um, just a thought. <laughs> Um, you don't have to, but it's kind of fun if you're thinking, trying to like, get inspired, you know? Um, anyway, Tori and Tealander and Little and Agnes uh, and Calzone and G and Lauren and Miss Andre and Nostalgic and we got Disappearing Quirks, uh, <laughs> Furbinding and Stephanie and Jessica and, and uh, uh, Mare and Cox and Gaming and Pink Hat and Shani and Lavender and Julian and Zephyr and Demon and Casey and Cheyenne and Cookie and Stop and Tegan. Thank you all so much. I'm so sorry if I've missed anything. <laughs> Okay, so the other important thing to uh, point out here, we decided that if we get a really bad one, like, for example, I guess I could probably just take it out. I don't really want to use the Star Wars pack. I, I'm kind of like, no Star Wars. It's not even worth... I, I You'll see, I made a video for later this week that I used the Star Wars pack to build with, but I'm just not interested in doing that. And I'm not really interested in using kits for this either. I'm, I'm more concerned with using, like, the big three um, than with using a kit, so. Um, I think otherwise, though, I've forced it to include one expansion pack, one game pack, and one stuff pack. We want three results. Shall we just spin and see what it tells us? I'm leaving Luxury Party in. I'm leaving my first pet stuff in, too. Eco Lifestyle Wedding Stories and Movie Hangout. Oh, that's interesting. I think that could go, I think that could work together. They're kind of different vibes, but I think it could work well together. Okay. Um, again, this is from my friend James's website. You guys, if you just Google Sims 4 pack generator, it'll come up. <laughs> it's really easy. <laughs> he has a bunch of things like this on his website. Okay, I'm gonna close the game. Um, and I'm actually gonna, I think, use James Turner's pack disabler to use only those packs. Um, you can Google James Turner disable packs and that'll come up too. What <laughs> uh, I'm talking about when I say that, um, you can select the base game um, and then you can enable the packs that you want to use. Um, and then you can put this command line into your Sims game. Don't, you just read this. It makes more sense when you read this. Don't ask me, just read it, okay? When you, if you wanted to do it, you can just go to his website, but. Um, this video is not sponsored by James Turner. No, James just has some useful stuff. What am I doing? Eco lifestyle, wedding stories, and what did I say? Movie hangout as well. Hello, movie hangout. Okay, and then you would copy and paste this one. Um, I don't want to show you my EA app because I don't want you to see the game code um, in my Sims 4. Can you see it when I pull it open? Yeah, you can't see that. You put it in your advanced launch options. Just read his website if you're confused. It makes loads of sense when you do it like that. Um, yeah, I think I might build it in Tartosa. I'm I'm open to building it in Tartosa, I think. Um, go away. No kit? No, we're deciding against kits on purpose. Oh, you put an eye roll emoji. Oh no, are you mad at me? 
We did no kits intentionally. <laughs> Um, Corey, Chloe, Ash, Katie, and Halfthorn, and, and Lenny, and Jesse, and Bumble, and Jupiter, and Tori. Thank you for the subs. Let me also change the command. Um, Kayla is building something using only eco lifestyle, wedding stories, and movie hangout. Okay, there we go. So that should answer people's questions. Um, let's go and see. I'll make, oh, I'll make a new save for this so that we don't have to worry about the packs being disabled, breaking anything. Um, okay. Random Sim, please. Hello, Random Sim, who is apparently a kleptomaniac, loner, and creative. Randolph Games? Okay. <laughs> no Stanley. Oh, when I do, I'm not actually gonna test this Sim. We're just trying to get a new hat. We're just getting a new world. We're literally just trying to get a new fresh save. I don't care who it is. Um, okay, so we could build this in either Evergreen Harbor or Tartosa. I'm thinking that Movie Hangout probably lends itself better to Tartosa than to Evergreen Harbor, right? If we're gonna use a lot of Movie Hangout in this one. Movie Hangout has some beautiful furniture in it. I think this would be a good spot to build it. And then... Do you want to do it on like the little secret island? I'm gonna put the guy somewhere else. I don't wish to use you. I'm building it for Manage Worlds. There isn't that many items in Movie Hangout. No, but there's some really nice items in Movie Hangout. And we're gonna use it because that's the pack that we randomized. <laughs> so, anyway, we'll see how it goes. Um, go away. Rory, far away, and Pendulum, and probably, and Tristess, and Funny, and Holly, thank you for the subs. Um, okay. I think... Tartosa. And then over here, with an outdoor theater. I don't know, it's hard to use the uh, movie theater screens, I feel like. the They're like, so... Um, they're so big. <laughs> I wasn't really planning on using it. <laughs> it's like such a... You know? <laughs> it's just so large. <laughs> it makes it kind of hard to use. Um, I was I was more thinking like, we'll just give them a TV, but then we'll use like some of the movie hangout. Th like this kind of stuff, this could be so cute for like a fun, colorful porch. <gasps> Oh my god, I forgot about that swatch. Of course it's blue. This is what I'm saying. Everything that's plain and nice in The Sims 4 is blue. You're thinking, Kayla, you always blue, use blue. It's their fault. The other ones are very vibrant. That's fun. But like, if you wanted something plain, oh, it's blue. It's always blue. <laughs> the movie hangout has some, I think, really, really nice furniture. What swatches does this have? Ugh. I think we should try and use this. It's hard because there's so much. This is really pretty. We are definitely gonna use that somewhere. Let me look at some more of the things for Movie Hangout. If we're gonna try and figure out what we're gonna build, we need to like be prepared with our options. Movie Hangout is like really, oh, I'm not in streamer mode. Sorry. <laughs> Um, streamer mode, enable, that's the, if you ever heard the sound of Discord muting and unmuting, that was because I had, I was not in streamer mode. Um, yeah, these are, I always liked that one the best. I never use these either. They're like so, so much. I do like this table. I always thought that was kind of pretty. I used to be obsessed with this mirrored coffee table as well. Oh my God. And I used to have a thing where I would put this in like every single one of my Sims kitchens. I would like hide it up in the cabinet. So the stuff was like dangling down the wall. Oh, and this is beautiful. This thing is so pretty. Like we have to use that. Of course. I think we should try and make it really vibrant inside. But we also, bear in mind, we also have the wedding story stuff to work with. Which isn't the best for a house, but we have some things. Um, 
And then we also have eco lifestyle and there's a ton of debug stuff in eco lifestyle. So furniture wise, we should be good to go. Yeah, we can use the popcorn maker too. I like that. Um, okay, I wanna see if I can find us a little reference photo um, of like a, I don't know, kind of like a boho sort of vibe, I guess, because that's kind of what movie hangout channels. It's hard with exteriors because we wanna like, it's on an island, you know? So we wanna try and channel that a little bit too. Um, you think it'll be easy to match movie hangout and wedding stories, but eco lifestyle is so different. Yeah, eco lifestyle is different, but also like the furniture in eco lifestyle is, I feel like very, um, I don't know, like this is very plain. So you could mix and match this bed with like the movie hangout rug. And I, I think it would honestly go really well together. Hey, Rosanna, thank you for the raid. Welcome in. We are, we are plotting right now a little bit. <laughs> Uh, we're doing a build challenge. We just used a pack randomizer to see what packs we should use. And we got eco lifestyle, movie hangout, and wedding stories. So we're kind of trying to figure out a plan. But do you see what I mean, chat? Like, I, I think that you could mix the eco lifestyle because it's very basic. I, I think that because it's so basic with the eco lifestyle stuff, it can be very versatile. And in that case, it's good because it's basic and the movie hangout stuff is so bold that I, I think they might actually like pair well. I haven't ever tried, but I, I can see it working, you know? Um, yeah, we're gonna have to go for a very uh, eclectic vibe. We're not using kits on purpose, Kjoy. Um, it's, it's an intentional choice to not have kits. <laughs> um, okay, I'm still looking a little bit. I'm trying to Google some uh, beach house sort of vibes. I don't really even know if I wanna do that or not. I'm not gonna use a reference photo. Let's just wing it. If we have to bulldoze a couple times, then so be it. We'll bulldoze and then start over. It's fine. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, Key with the gifted subs, thank you so much. Introvert and Admiral and Annette and Dior and Benz and Panthers and also Nira and Danny and Lex and Elise and Rory. Thank you all for the subs. Um, okay, let us, I'm gonna record this too in case you wanna post it on YouTube. Um, and now we just begin, yeah? Okay. I have no idea what it's gonna be like on the outside. <laughs> we encourage bulldozing. Yeah, see, sometimes you just have to. Like, a, a bulldoze is not necessarily a bad thing. I, I really feel that way, truthfully. We also have, um, we could use like the wedding stories things. We could try and go for, I don't know, these windows aren't the brightest. I think we should try and use one of the colorful ones. Do you wanna do like the green? I use the purple a lot. We could do the green wedding stories windows. The problem is if you do those, this is why I always complain about this, this game, because if you do this, like no other window matches that. So you have to use these, but there's only two of them. Like there's really not that much. And it does make it kind of hard to work with, but we'll figure it out. I wonder if we could pair it with some of this somewhere. I don't know. I don't know. If you make a small house, it might be okay. Yeah, and I don't think it's gonna be too big. Oh my God, wait a minute. You guys, we have like the best doors. This is gonna be so good. You come in green, right? Okay, mint not so very. <laughs> All of a sudden we're channeling mint, not so very, but that's fine. That works perfectly well. The doors from this pack are so good. Movie Hangout has like some really cute doors. Okay, well, I know we wanna use that. I don't really know what I want the shape to be like. All I know is that I wanna use those. But now, now that we have that, like that gives us something to work with, you know? <laughs> we can do that. That's, that's feasible. Um, I really actually like Movie Hangout. I feel like that's one of those ones that you wouldn't expect to be as um, as useful as it is, I guess. Okay, I'm wondering about some sort of shape like this, make you a bit more minty too. You have none of these packs, oh no. <laughs> 
that's no good. Our, our goal was for it to be like, uh, more usable for people. Um, but then we randomized it and, you know, things happen when you use a randomizer that, uh, cannot always be controlled, so... <laughs> For that, I apologize. Um... Okay. I think that... Yikes. I don't like that. It's only a small lot, too. Um, you and thank you for the 30 months, and, and Baby, and Ash, and Tea Coats, and Pesto, and Jenny, thank you so much, too. Okay. I think that I want to have a couple balconies on this house. I feel like that would be a really nice touch. Um, but we'll see how it goes. I don't like that. This makes you want movie hangout. Yeah, I, I like movie hangout. It probably wouldn't be my like top choice for a Sims pack, but I think it's really good. I think movie hangout is a fun one. Um, not number one choice stuff pack, but definitely, like, wouldn't- I wouldn't recommend against it, you know? Like, if you've been thinking about it, I wouldn't be like, oh no, don't buy that! Whereas some stuff packs, I'd be like, oh no, don't buy that! <laughs> you know? <laughs> no, the- the problem is, it doesn't have, um, like, with- with Movie Hangout, it doesn't really have as much as some of the newer stuff packs do. You know, like the newer stuff packs are objectively bigger uh, and like therefore kind of more worth the money because they are bigger. Um, so I would like recommend one of the newer ones over this one just because, you know, you get more for your money. It's more worthwhile, um, but it's still not bad. It's kind of fun. I like the shape of this, though. I think that's kind of good, right? I don't know if that's gonna be a balcony or if it's gonna be a roof section. It's giving honeymoon vibes. I guess it could. we could make it into a vacation home too. I'll probably decorate it as though it's like a regular house, but if you wanted to, you could easily change it into a vacation rental. Use it for like your honeymoon or something. You're at Universal Studios Orlando. Oh my goodness. I hope you have fun. You got a ride. There's this really weird new Minion ride at Universal. And it's like, you know how they have those rides where it's like a, uh, you like, it's like a game where you shoot things and earn points. The new one at Universal is called like Minion Con, Minion Blasters or something. But it has you, oh, I hate that. It has you standing on a, um, and I, you can't make this stuff up, but it has you standing on like a moving walkway. You know at the airport, how they have like those moving walkways where it's like a, just a belt and it pushes you forward faster. It puts you on one of those. You stand on like a dot on the moving walkway and you just stand there and then you hold the like fake toy gun and you shoot the thingies. <laughs> and this is their brand new like state of the art, high tech brand new ride. <laughs> It's actually like kind of cringe, but what I will say, okay, yes, it's kind of cringe. However, it's got like a really high um, output. So it, it's, there's a lot of people, a high capacity. So the line's not long because the capacity on the ride is really high. So a lot of people can ride it. Um, so they need stuff like that at Universal. They need some like um, rides where they can fit a lot of people in, but it's, kind of cringe. You should go on it, though, if you were at Universal. Don't miss your opportunity. Um, oh, I hate that, actually. I don't know. I'm wondering about hiding, like, a little... No. I think that there should be a balcony here. That's why I did this. Um, I was thinking that we could put, like... Of course it has the brown on it, but we could put the door there. And then we can do some more balconies in the outside. Um, you feel like you would fall over? Oh, it's- no, you won't fall over, Christine. It's so slow. You won't fall. It, you just stand there, and it goes slowly, slowly over. You won't fall. <laughs> I can almost, without a doubt, 100% guarantee that that won't happen to you on this ride. <laughs> 
a legit or a big balcony without the roof. We're gonna do big balconies in the back. We wanna have a bunch of balconies. I, I'd like to have a small bit of roof there. Um, but anyway, it's, I think it's kind of weird that like the whole ride is uh, just that. Um, it's not really my favorite thing, but it is good that they have a, a ride like that there now that is like, uh, appropriate for younger kids because Universal is very like big ride for the most part. It's like big rides and then screen rides. They'll make you nauseous. Um, but it's nice that they have something like that where like, you know, more people can ride it. It's not a roller coaster. Um, okay. I hate screen rides too. I'm the same way. I hate screen rides. I just can't. I get quite kind of motion sick um, on those screen rides where like they kind of shake you around and make you look through a 3D screen. Oh, can't, 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 can't. <laughs> uh, Lemon and Noxie and Lily and Olivia and Timmy and Jenny and Brooklyn and Archer and Beers and, and Cloudy, thank you all for the subs and stuff. Um, oh my God, every time I do a build it ends up, this is like a gingerbread man. That wasn't on purpose, I mean it. Go away. I'm gonna redo the back. Um. Yikes. I feel like Lisa's not Texas again. Yeah, that's true. Um. I'm wondering about. That's a huge mistake. Don't do that. Did I ever try to build a school? Oh, we've built a high school a few times. We've been talking about maybe doing another one soon, but we have built a high school a few times in The Sims 4. Um, so, if you're looking for one, I have done it. Okay, I think that like a little bit kind of helps there. I do think also that, um, no, go back, go back again. I'm kind of feeling like, you didn't know I've done one? Oh, we've done a few. I, on I only ever play in my own high schools. I don't really like to play in the default one. So <laughs> I've, I've uh, <laughs> needed to build my own high school in The Sims 4, cause you know how it is. <laughs> you know how the, the Sims 4 default high school is. So, um, We've, we've done our own for sure. <laughs> Especially when the pack first came out. I was having so much fun. That was like some of the most fun I'd had building in The Sims in a while was doing those high school builds because I really liked I really liked it. Um, okay, here's what I'm thinking. I know it's kind of simple. It's kind of plain in the back, but I kind of like the idea of there being a huge balcony and like that taking up the whole thing. So I might try that. Uh, Rosebud, Christine, Joelle, thank you for the subs. Always oh, download one from the gallery. Yeah, I, I get that. I think the default high school is kind of yikes. So I understand the desire to get one off the gallery. <laughs> this is actually kind of big now. That's fine though. Um, I may scoot the house over because we'll try and take advantage of the side yard. So that'll be good too. Um, hmm. I don't really love this fence. I wish that there was a version of it that did not have the flowers. I wish you could like mix and match, you know? I don't know, a pool? Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking about adding in. I was kind of planning on, I kind of want to have the pool be like, low down and and surrounded by like some sort of maybe a half wall maybe a fence but i kind of want to have the pool be like a step down from the house probably not this fence but you know i kind of want to do something like this and like fill that in i just think that would be kind of interesting probably not with that one you know any other fence might do but not that one <laughs> I guess this one's not too terrible either. It's plain. And that could be okay. 
for the vibes that we're going for. I like how it's long and skinny. Maybe I'll do landscaping right there as well. Surrounded by platforms. Yeah, the problem with the platforms is that the house is on a foundation. So the second you start putting platforms in there, we start to have issues. Glass fence so you can see the ocean. Yeah, I guess we probably should do it with glass, but I don't really, I don't really like the glass, you know? I want it to be low as well. And the low glass fence kind of gives me the ick. The eco lifestyle fence is tall. Oh, you know what else? This one is short. And that's a little bit of eco lifestyle, which we talked about adding in. Sims don't care about views. Yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. Sims aren't that worried about that part. It's just us who's thinking about that. Um, the wedding stories fence. Oh, we were just talking about the wedding stories one. I don't know if I, oh, this one's also lower. That's the same as the original base game one that we had, but it's shorter. Here's another interesting question. That becomes like the exact same height. So that might be an interesting way. I know it makes the pool kind of closed off, but that might be kind of an interesting way to still have a fence over here. But like make it look like it's all one piece, you know? I like it. I wonder if on this section, maybe we could do glass on the back. Oh no, I don't really like it. And you want, I guess you do kind of want it to be open, huh? We can have it be closed in with like actual bushes. I don't know. Could do half walls too? Yeah, so you can do half walls. Uh, again, problem with the half walls, which I'm not opposed to working around, but the problem with the half walls is that um, it's on a foundation, so you can't draw it all the way up to the edge. Sometimes this tries to delete itself when you do it like this, um, or it glitches like that because of the foundation. So it's just something to keep in mind as you do it. <laughs> but half walls are also good. I do like how it makes it like even with the, um, the rest of it all. Debug fence. Yeah, I mean, we don't we don't have to decide right now. Everyone's like really getting all excited about this, but realistically, we're just throwing out ideas while we're kind of messing around with more of this. Oh my god, that's horrible. Okay. I guess if we cover it with bushes, you won't be able to tell, and that would be good. I don't know. Sarah, Llama, Goonies, Asteroid, Isabel, and uh, Aspire, Aspire, sorry, oh my god, I can't talk. Fella, Gridley, Hollow, Alex, thank you for the subs. Um, okay. Well, I'm gonna need to get another set of stairs. Something like that. And we'll do it simple. Very simple to go up there. All right. And then when you come inside, do we close it off? I don't really know. I guess we could do something like that and have a bathroom downstairs. I hate, hate that there's like an obvious edge to the wall. That always bothers me so much about this. Pergola? I actually thought about the pergola. The only reason I decided against the pergola, there are a couple as well from the pack. Um, but the only reason I decided against using, I was picturing this one originally, but because we were gonna have a balcony up here, I felt like having the pergola was like, maybe too much. And then it's like, do you put the pergola upstairs? But then I have to probably make this part bigger. Conflicting block clusters, oh. See, the half, the half wall breaks everything. But like, do you put it upstairs and use it up there? How do we make it match? Like, these are all important questions, you know? Um, there's a couple though. We have like more modern ones. This is the one from the wedding pack, which is also good. But I kind of like the base game one better. Um, but anyway, 
Um, so, I don't know. You think it looks cute on the balcony? This one? Okay, I like this one best. Oh, it's clipping. Oh dear. We'll make it work. It's gonna be fine. I think it does improve the back. Yeah, there's the debug ones that are crafted in Eco Lifestyle as well. Um, but I don't really like them. <laughs> uh, Eco Lifestyle has some stuff like these things, but they always look so modern to me. And just not really what I'm envisioning. You know? Yeah, in real life, this would be so beautiful. I agree. That's like the actual dream, what we've got going on right here. I think I'll put the door on that part. Because then we can do big windows in the back of the house. Because you want to be able to see, you know? Like, you want to look out that view. Um, and then upstairs... I don't really know what's best for the upstairs. Maybe I'll think about that more once I do the floor plan. Let's do floor plan again before we get too ahead of ourselves. Um, <laughs> Chrissy, Amy, Sarah, thank you for the subs. Yeah, we can use base game. Base game's a given. Um, well, we're already using a lot of base game as it is. I mean, like the pool's base game, the bushes are base game, right? Like, uh, we could potentially use the eco lifestyle sliding doors upstairs. Um, if we wanted to just really embrace it. I just don't think that it looks as cute, but it is good for the views and the vibes. Um, this staircase being right there is not good for the floor plan upstairs, though. I think that upstairs, maybe it would be best... Maybe the staircase should go there, because then we could have... Potentially, like, I'm, I'm thinking a bathroom right there. Oh, that makes a really weird shaped room. Uh-oh. I'm trying to make sure that we still have access to this door. Like, from the outside. Yeah, see, now all of a sudden the balcony is, like, for the kids' bedroom. You think one big bedroom upstairs, like a suite? I don't know. I'm kind of interested in having... I think I'm kind of interesting interested in having multiple bedrooms. We could also put... I was originally thinking about putting a staircase to get up to the balcony. We could have a staircase that goes upstairs, which would also be fine. Just scoot this around a bit. Because that was part of the original plan, so. Um, yeah, it's just a little bit, like, it's just a little bit tight, I guess, is kind of the problem here. Maybe you go like that. No. Maybe you go like... Like that. That could be better. How does that feel from downstairs? It's really weird from downstairs, but I do think that makes the upstairs situation slightly improved because there's two big rooms. Does living room upstairs solve the issue? Oh, I don't really want to have a living room upstairs. I think that would be like not really the vibes that I'm going for. Um, do one bedroom and leave the door to the balcony open? I just find that's not really what I want. I'm trying- I love the- I, I love the idea of decorating kids' bedrooms with this pack. I want to have, like, a lot of bedrooms. Um, I think my dream is to have, like, multiple- I want to have, like, an extra bedroom downstairs, too, you know? Um, that's the- that's the vision, because I feel like we could decorate so cute with this stuff, but... 
That looks just absolutely terrible. Have a bedroom downstairs. That, so again, <laughs> I, yes, that's what I would like to do. We want to have like downstairs and upstairs bedrooms. I want it to be like a three bedroom house. It's quite big downstairs. So we got space for that. Um, I'm just going back and forth a lot and how I want to split this up. I really think that maybe the staircase needs to be on this half more so. Because I feel as though, unfortunately, I feel as though... Oh, but then... See, the reason I was doing it like that is I wanted to have one of the balconies be accessible by the hallway. But if that becomes like one big bedroom... Boo, stinky. Like, that's not what anybody wants, you know? Um, I don't really know. Will the doorways be open? Might look cool. Open plan. Like, upstairs? Um, I don't really want to have a- have it be open plan upstairs, if that's what you mean. I want to have the, you know, the bedrooms be separate, but, um, we could maybe have, like, the downstairs is going to be one big open living room. If that is the question you are asking. Okay, that makes for one huge bedroom upstairs, which is the opposite of what I wanted. I've caved for chat. They have a bathroom up here, and then they have two balconies just off their own bedroom. Maybe split those in half. What, this part? I think that if we did that, I'm afraid that, um... They become a little bit... They're still a bit small, but... That also makes, like, this part downstairs is horrendous. This section is... That's basically useless. I guess this could become an extra bathroom, but... Um... And then they each have a balcony, so I guess that's nice that they have each have their own balcony. But there would be the room split up kind of like that. You could leave it more open. I don't understand when people say that about the upstairs. Like, we're, we're trying to fit in as many bedrooms as possible into a small space, so open doesn't really work. We could do open downstairs, you know, but upstairs, I don't think open where you're trying to have bedroom walls is good, you know? Um... Okay, so I'm kind of thinking that could maybe even be an office if we wanted it to be. Um, but no, what I, what I think I'll probably do instead is have this becomes a primary bedroom and the primary bathroom as like an ensuite. We can have like a little half bath downstairs. They could probably use this if they wanted to stick their toilet back there, in the weird nook. Um... Move the stairs closer to the sliding door so that's the hallway upstairs. I don't really- I don't really want to do that. I'm kind of happy with how it is. Everybody's giving me a lot of really conflicting opinions. I know you guys seem- it seems like a lot of you really hate how it's laid out right now, but... <laughs> I kind of like it, so I'm gonna leave it be just for a second until I think more about it. <laughs> For the for 72 months, and Dennis, and Wills, and Sammy, and B, and Chrissy, that you're for the subs too. Um, okay, so I'm guessing that in the rest of the layout, imagine there's like a living room over here. We'll have the dining table somehow like in this section. And then the kitchen goes like, you know, around there. Obviously not placed like that. I'm just trying to show you the spacing. But that's kind of what I'm thinking. And we still have a huge suite downstairs, which is also good. And what people wanted. So. I can get behind this. 
I think that actually turned out quite nicely. <laughs> Brianna, thank you for the 18 months. Do we feel okay with this? Oh, Cameron's continuing the gift sub they got from my dad. <laughs> That's pretty cool. My dad, whenever he gifts subs, which sometimes it's like randomly every like eight months he'll gift some subs. I always think that's kind of funny. Like, imagine you get a gift sub from Lil Simsy's dad. <laughs> Just, we're ex nobody was expecting that. <laughs> okay, I like the downstairs layout. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah? And then, um, I guess we'll do like a small window because that's going to be in the back of the kitchen. Oh, you know what's so sad? Three packs, not a single one has a kitchen set. That's okay. We'll figure it out. We'll make it look nice. I don't know which one it'll be, but... None of the three we rolled has cabinets, so we got the base game. <laughs> but the kitchen will be kind of in that area. Does that make sense? All right. Let me add some more windows upstairs. And some of the other spaces. Um, oh, no, let's do a small window. That's the bathroom. That's a nice, a nice, um, bathroom layout, I would say. I like how there's a window in the hallway, too. Maybe I scoot it again. Okay. The main room on the first floor is kind of Texas-y. Oh, like the shape or the vibe of having the bedroom on the first floor. Because they do that a lot here too in Florida where um, the primary bedroom's on the first floor. But just generally speaking, in Florida, a lot of our houses only have bedrooms on the first floor. Because most times, like a lot of places around here don't even have a second floor at all, so. Um, or if they do, it's like a small second floor, kind of like tucked away in the roof, you know? So, anyway, um, I think we want to get another window probably over here, too. That's going to be a big primary bathroom. Okay, that seems good to me. What else do we have to work with? So, flooring-wise... Do you want to do like this really light wood floor pretty much everywhere? We don't have any tile. Um. Yeah, the idea of having a second floor seems very fancy to me. I agree. Because <laughs> of like how I grew up, all of our bedrooms, everything, the house is all basically one story. So it's just very common around here. Um, they kind of build the houses a bit wider than like skinny and tall. Um, but like, it, even if a house is the same size, but like two stories, I'm like, wow, that's so fancy. <laughs> we have more space, I guess. And heat rises, so, you know, it's a million degrees outside. Um, but yeah, it just, it's funny to think about how different it is depending on how you grew up. Um, I think that we're going to do some really funky colored rugs in these rooms, I think. Um, that one could be fun. I do actually like that one too. I don't know. And then for the couches, we have to really think this through because truthfully, this one is quite horrendous to me. Oh, you know what? I think those together look pretty nice. The primary bedroom is downstairs, Marshall. It's this, and they have a huge ensuite bathroom too. I don't think I want to use the fancy door. Or maybe I do. Oh no, I think I do. I'm gonna use the fancy door. I don't really like that part, but maybe I can make it light colored again. Um, usually the one story houses are ugly. Oh, I, I think that the Florida houses are ugly. Just generally speaking. They don't really, we don't build the cutest things down here. 
<laughs> P-Rex and Gwen Wizard, thank you for the subs. Um, okay. Okay. Movie Hangout. I'm really tempted. Wedding Story doesn't really even have a rug. Like, I, I'd argue that this is, like, that's not really a rug so much as it's like an aisle thing, you know? So, movie hangout, can I size it up? Yes. Sized up, it is extremely large. But it has potential. Maybe. What colors does this one come in? Similar ones. <laughs> Maybe I could use that. Okay. Honestly, this rug being sized up is pretty inconvenient because it's like slightly not enough space right here. I don't know if I can bring myself to use these movie hangout chairs. I think that's too much. You know? We could potentially try to make these eco-lifestyle ones work, but even that is very, like, it's just a different vibe, isn't it? Then there's the wedding chairs. Because we have to remember that, oh, oh, you know what? The wood is, like, the exact right color on that. That's actually really nice. <laughs> That actually looks really good, I would say. Okay. Yeah, what I was gonna say before I distracted myself, uh, I was trying to talk about how in this house, we're not trying to do a movie hangout build, you know? Like we're trying to use a lot of things from movie hangout, but also incorporate, you know, all of the other three packs, the three total packs, I mean. We want it to be like an, a nice mix of everything that we're trying to use, so. We don't want to like overdo it with the patterns from Movie Hangout. You want to be able to like fit stuff in. Can I tile the rug? That is a new question. Um, we could potentially do that. I think the concern here is the lines, but depending on the coffee table and like how much it covers, oh, not much. I was gonna say it might be okay, but... Yeah, I wish it was seamless. I think it's kind of strange. Because the pattern doesn't tile, so... It's a little bit weird when you do this. It's like... Kind of upsetting, almost. But I... It's too big when it's sized up. Is the problem. I do like the color of this rug, though. Just two rugs? Um, we can maybe do just two. Just two is a lot smaller. So that's something to keep in mind. If we had like a round coffee table, mm -hmm. no. If there was like a rounded coffee table, it makes it a little bit less obvious, but I, I just think it's probably best if we just left it big, you know? We can't really extend the house much more. Like, doing this, all of a sudden the whole patio is gone. But that extra tile makes a huge difference with fitting in the dining room. Oh, but that makes the pergola look bad. Oh no. So... Part of it also could be that maybe it's better if we got rid of the half bathroom that we were trying to use. Any other rug options? Oh, I really want to use this rug. That's the problem. I really, really want to use this rug. <laughs> could scoot the pergola forward? Yeah, we could. I don't really want to make the back patio smaller though. The back patio is already quite small. 
I think I'm okay with how this is turning out. Um, I don't know if the rest of chat is, but I'm feeling okay about it. Oh my god. Oh. I don't have the tool mod installed right now, Umi. Um, I don't really use a lot of mods in my videos on purpose because I try to make things that are maybe a little bit more easily replicated by uh, folks that are watching. So, and obviously not everybody can have mods or uh, knows how to use mods or is willing to brave the tool mod, <laughs> so. Um, two tile half bath. Oh, I was thinking in this section instead of the half bath, because we have a bathroom upstairs. We don't really need to have one. I was thinking we could have a little office nook or something. That was my first thought, but I was gonna use it as like a desk nook. Okay, so next thought was like, maybe we do white cabinetry, because then we can use something more vibrant on the outside. Um, I don't know. I think that we want to get something that has some more, like, vibrance to it with the metal, I think, would be helpful. I don't know. White lower, vibrant upper. I don't know. The problem is, like, the, there's not really vibrant i i don't like the black countertop on that so like the vibrant would be probably just this one because i don't really like these i hate how they don't match i i think that that's like really not what i'm going for um but i mean the blue upper cabinets isn't terrible Not those counters. Well, so I know these are the cheapest base game counters, obviously, um, but I think that they're like actually quite versatile um, because they're quite simple. So top cabinets in fuchsia. I hate how it's got the brown wood though. It does match, but I don't really like the I don't know. Just generally, I don't like any of the tile options. Like, I'm being very picky, but I don't- I hate the brown bothers me deeply. <laughs> Calisation with 39 months! Um, and then... Blue was better. Think it needs darker wood for boho? White looks too modern, you think? Well, we're trying to like mix and match some styles, Jordal. Remember, we're not only using Movie Hangout and we're not only doing boho. We're also trying to fit in wedding stories and eco lifestyle. <laughs> Those three packs, we need to find the overlap and then pick that. We need to like really focus on what, what we can do with what options we have available to us. Oh my gosh, this is horrendous. Wait, 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 wait. What if we did it with bright orange? We can try and channel the orange. No, there's no counters in Eco Lifestyle. We only have the base game counters, unfortunately. Um, the three packs that we spun don't have counters. It's a lot. But a lot is fun, I think. I just, I do think it makes the white look very like sterile, but maybe once we have some more furniture in here, it'll be better. Do we do island counters? No, we need more walking space than that. Maybe a different orange. You guys gotta remember, we don't have a lot of options. <laughs> Like, you're all saying, oh, do a different orange. Keep in mind, there's one wallpaper in Wedding Stories. Eco Lifestyle has, like, wood stuff. I'm not trying to use that. That's not the vibes that we're going for. We do have, like, this big tile. And that's maybe an idea, but it's not really as vibrant as I want. And then Movie Hangout has none. 
So we're working with like basically just the base game right now with wallpapers. Um, we'll be able to use some fun stuff like this from other packs. Um, I actually, <laughs> now I hate to say it, but I actually kind of like this. I'm gonna mess with the colors. We'll make it match better, okay? Please don't panic. Please don't write off the build just yet, okay? We're gonna get accent colors, we'll get accent walls. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, these could be lighter then. Okay. Um, okay, I think that... I don't really like any of the... Maybe just that one. Simple. Base game flower tile. Um, the one that we started with and people didn't like. <laughs> Are you asking about this one? Um, we, we did in fact have that one first. Just let it be. Let it be. I mean, there's no rules really. We just spun a randomizer to give us three packs. Um, the three packs are Eco Lifestyle, Movie Hangout, and Wedding Stories <laughs> that we randomized. Um, but there's not like rules to the challenge or anything like that. Um, we just were like, we're gonna do a build with three randomized packs. <laughs> and now here we are. Um, yeah, there's, there, it is a little difficult because there's not really much that is cohesive in these packs. Um, so we're kind of trying to make do with what we can. But I think that's sort of fun, so it'll be fine. Ugh. Ugh. Isn't it all a bit boho though? Um, what, our house or like all of the packs? I don't know what it's gonna be yet. You think movie hangout and wedding stories have more in common than eco? I I think that I prefer um, a lot of the furniture from eco lifestyle. I don't think that wedding stories. She barely has furniture at all. Like when you look at all this, um, we use the chairs obviously in the dining room already. But you look at some other things. It's like maybe a divider. Well, we don't really need that in here. You know, like a divider is not really necessary for our purposes in this living room. So we don't really need that. Um, we're not gonna put a bar on the inside. Oops, I'm in the basement. We don't need a wedding arch on the inside. There is this one couch, but even then, I don't think the colors really work. Like, um, I don't know. It's not as, uh, furniture-y, <laughs> you know? You like the couch for historical builds? Yeah, it's a, it's a nice couch. I just don't think that it matches our purposes today too much. I also don't think that this light matches our purposes today too much, but it's okay. Divider behind the couch, you think so? Um, I don't really know, like, I don't really understand the request, I guess. Cause we have the, I know, I used to use this ceiling light all the time. Like, literally non-stop I was using that ceiling light back in the day. I like it. I don't think that it really works in our living room, though. Because, again, we don't really need this space. We could try and make something out of it for the bedroom, but I don't know if it really makes sense for in here, you know? Um... Oh, I forgot. This thing actually has a couple really cute swatches with like with the flags and stuff. That could be interesting. Probably not though. Um. Oh no, we want these to be facing the water, don't we? Somehow. Yeah, I don't use the dividers that often in this game. I'm the same way. Um. Eco lifestyle. 
Yeah, but like potentially, you guys, this is kind of what I'm saying. Maybe we try and make a headboard out of it. I, it's a weird combo, but it's just an idea. This one's also nice, I guess. This bed is probably better. I was gonna use a couple of these beds. Ooh, see, those kind of match their respective rugs. Maybe? Why me, Waldo, uh, Tom, and Moonlight, and Tabby, thank you for the subs. Um, I use the dividers for historical builds. You know, Brew, I actually never would have guessed that you, builder of historical builds, would use these things for historical builds. <laughs> I'm shocked that that's how you get use out of this stuff. You and your uh, spreadsheet nightmare legacy of the old days. <laughs> um, okay, so on the couch, uh, I don't know. I don't really love all this. Is there, we do have a, a pretty plant, right? Movie Hangout is one that has the huge plant, yes? Oh my goodness, okay. That's a good first step for us. We can work with that. Huge plant, take out space in the corner. Of course it's got weird shadows. This is what I used to do like literally all the time. I would take these and I would like sneak them into the counter and make it look like they're hanging there. I thought that was like the coolest thing ever when I was younger. Okay, I do think that this sofa, it was good when we did not have any orange, but now there's so much orange that it needs to be something else. No, we didn't pick a kit on purpose. Everybody keeps being like, you forgot the kit. <laughs> but we we're not using a kit intentionally. Um, that, that is a intentional choice, the lack of kit, so. Yeah, I like the wood color. This is a nice sofa. I do think that it maybe is a bit contrasty with the window there. I don't know. Let me look at more eco lifestyle stuff again. This is harder than you ever think it will be every time. You go in to do one of these, you're like, it's gonna be easy. And then you actually start doing it and it's not easy. <laughs> Never is. I don't like that. Oh, this little thing might be kind of nice somewhere. Maybe I could sneak that right here. Simple, subtle, cute little item. Um, do we dare ourselves to make like a custom cabinet, built-in TV stand thing. That's just horrendous. I like the color with the cream a bit better, but I hate this. Isn't the rug too big? Oh my God, we've tried so many rugs. <laughs> Um, the, the rug, it's either too small or it's too big. We're gonna go for a big rug on purpose and really fill in the living room though. It's gonna be okay. We're not done yet, so don't worry. Um, we're using it as a feature. We're gonna, once we have some more chairs in and stuff, it's gonna look better, all right? Just bear with us, because we're not done yet. Um, okay. So... Yeah, the sconces are not really speaking to me either. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh no, this is like really not easy. Um, we wanna get some, well, I guess artwork could be good across this wall. That brings in some of the colors, which is also good. I don't know. Okay. Okay, okay. Couches, 
So I want to use one or two of these little ottomans, I think. Oh my goodness. I just think it's too much. You know, like when you, when you use it with the rug. Add a wall, what, like here? I mean, we could. That does just make this a bit bigger, which isn't really what I want. I guess the dark blue one's okay. But even then, go full on maximalist. I don't know. I'm not really interested in, um, like overdoing it with the patterns. Again, I don't really, I'm not, I keep saying this. I don't know if it's making sense when I say it, but I don't want to make a movie hangout build. I want to make a build that ties movie hangout together with other stuff, you know? Um, we don't really want this to become a house that is like only movie hangout everywhere. Um, we're trying to fill everything together. I don't know. Does that make sense? Not wedding stories. Eco lifestyle. It's like we could maybe. Eco lifestyle does have um, some kind of interesting wallpapers. Those might be okay for like some of the kids' rooms, to be honest. Like that might be kind of cute in that kids' room. Dare I say, that might actually look cute in that kids' room too. Think the sofa needs some pop of color. Yeah, we've really been struggling with this one. We had it orange originally. It was that color before, but that didn't work with the walls. So. I don't know. Maybe we need a rug too that goes underneath this. Maybe it could be simple. It's never simple, is it? It's never simple. Okay, I don't know about that. You want a kit that's just 10 different sofas? Yeah, that would be really nice. I don't think I like the color of these cabinets. I think that's like problem like number one. It's just that the cabinets are quite bland. You liked the pink for the rug? Oh, like the, the bold. I mean, it matches. It definitely, I think, uh, presents us with a new set of challenges um, if we did that, but. Oh, there's some really conflicting opinions about the pink rug. I think that with that, the orange wallpaper is not working. Like if we use that together, it's just not, Maybe the cabinets are a bit too modern. Wait, this is the problem, right? This is why I've been struggling so much. The options are horrendous. Like that? Yikes, that's not what I want. That's like fancy, traditional. These ones are like metal, no. These ones are even worse with the modern thing. Like, what are you even to do, you know? You think the pink rug, rug is much too close to the other one? What, like it should be literally scooted over? Yeah, I'm, you, we're gonna have to like, let it happen a little bit, you know? I think that maybe the white walls, white walls mixed with some accents would be best. I don't know. That's like very minty, which isn't what I want. Counters with the tile. Cabinets with the blue tile countertop. Okay, that was another thought that I had as well, but this is like really uh, shocking. The color scheme of that. So, maybe no kitchen at all. You know what? Maybe you're right. If we can't pick a kind of cabinet to use, what if we just didn't use cabinets? You know? <laughs> I 
That might solve the problem. They don't need to cook. Who needs to eat? They can order out. It's fine. It's fine. I do think that that has like the colorful vibes. I hate this though, because I hate trying to mix and match like tile with it. I think the tile with the tile always looks really weird. So I struggle a lot with that, but maybe it would be okay. I don't know. It doesn't look weird to you. Okay. The walls aren't going to stay white, by the way. We're just thinking and placing furniture together. So the walls being white are a huge help in that way. As a temporary addition. No, that's not going to work. Maybe this thing, but like size down. So no. Um, I don't think that those in yellow look that good right there at least. Maybe we could put them on this half of the so of the room. Cause then you can sit in them to see out the window. And then it gives some more separation between the two areas. Yeah, it like helps to distinguish the space a little bit more. And then they're not right up against the cab or the, sorry, the window curtain stuff. Cause I don't think them being right up against the curtains is good. Okay. You think silver metal in the kitchen doesn't work? Yeah, but I don't, the, the alternative is like the cheap white appliances. You know, these are just like, they're objectively a good appliance. This big plant in the corner is from Movie Hangout, believe it or not. Um, it's a nice one. If we try the divider behind the chairs, I, I really don't want to use a divider in the room. It's like we've sat here trying to make the room feel open. And then all of a sudden we're like gonna put a divider in this tiny space. If the rug was smaller, if there was like an in-between size, maybe. But I, I don't really wanna close off the room. Like I, I want it to feel open in here. Does that make sense? Um, we want it to feel like open and wide and airy and whatever. <laughs> We're not gonna use the tool mod. Okay, guys, I'm just gonna say it one more time. <laughs> I don't really use any mods uh, in my videos um, on purpose, I, with the exception of like, you know, UI cheats and MC Command Center and stuff. Um, I don't use any CC in my builds. I, I try to have the builds be easily replicated by people, at least with like the tools that we're using. Um, and the tool mod is not really very easily accessible to the average simmer. Um, a lot of people use it, obviously, but um, a, a lot of people here play on console. A lot of you don't use mods at all because of that. You know, there's a lot of reasons why the tool mod is just maybe a little bit more complex than what I want to do for the everyday average build, you know? Um, it's a great mod. It's a fantastic mod. I just don't really have any desire to use that mod here. Okay. Um, the tool mod uh, has some really impressive build features. It gives you like kind of slightly more expanded control of what and how and where you can move stuff. Um, it's very impressive, but <laughs> I've never really been one to make mod content either. So you're not going to get like a tool mod tutorial from me either. <laughs> Um, I'm not really, I'm not the person to go to for, for, um, mod content for the most part, you know, it's just not really my thing. It never has been. So, um, anyway, it comes up a lot when we complain about things like the rug. Cause it's like, oh, you know, if you just use a mod, you can size it down like a more customized amount. But, um, I'm not really interested in using any mods so, for this too complicated for you. It is, it can be kind of complicated, complicated, the tool mod. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's a lot of people that use the tool mod for all of their builds. <laughs> um, and that's fantastic. And like, that's, you know, you can, uh, 
go to them for for the advice and tips and things like that about it. Um, I think that's for the best. Oh, I kind of like that actually. Um, okay, I find that slightly interesting. Use it for rotating and placing off lot. Yeah, I get that. Um, that's I mean probably what most people use it for, for the most part, right? But um, let's get some cute clutter on this desk because once we have some clutter in, it's gonna start like feeling more like a home. Mods are scary. Yeah, I I don't really I'm not scared of mods. It's just like I I sort of stopped using mods um, back when I was making my my original Simsy save save file. This was like literally when I was in high school and I'm 24 years old, so it's been a while. Um, but I stopped using mods really for the most part when I was making my save file because um, I was making a lot of CC free households of Sims to fill in the save file. Um, and then uh, I kind of just never started using CC again after that. Um, that was kind of like a, I, I took, I kept taking my mods folder out of my game to work on these CC free households. And then I was like, you know what? It's kind of fun to make Sims without any custom content. And then I just sort of stopped using CC really. Um, thought you were talking about mods in chat. Oh, we are so scared of the mods. We are so scared of the mods. You should be scared of the mods in chat for sure. Um, let's see. But anyway, everybody has like different preferences. There's all kinds of creators that use tons of CC in all their videos, you know? It's just not really my thing, I guess. <laughs> um, where everybody's different, so. Um, I wanna get some postcards. I really like these as a fun little way to stick some, add some more stuff into it. Yeah, I love that tapestry and I love it on that wall with the cute accent color. Maybe I could try the brick behind this too. Let me get the columns back then. Oops, sorry. Um, okay. Um, I keep looking at the wall sconces because I keep thinking that I want to have a sconce on this wall and then deciding against it. I mean, we have like the candle ones and those are cute enough, I guess, but I just kind of like the idea of there being something behind it. Um, what happened to the warm colors? It was so cute, sad face. <laughs> it was, uh, the only thing I changed was get rid of the orange wallpaper and paint it white so I can have a blank slate to look at. Um, it's okay. We're not done. I'm gonna reload and I'm gonna bring us in here so I can change the lighting color. You guys gotta bear with me. This really is a trust the process kind of thing. Um, please be gentle because I always have a really hard time with when people are like, um, aggressive in their feedback when I'm not sure what I'm doing. It's really hard for me because I it feels like my brain's being pulled in a million directions. It's a little bit easier for me to handle when I know what I want, but today I don't really know what I want. So uh, when everybody is pulling me in three directions and then saying that it's ugly, <laughs> it's kind of like, okay, hold on. I'm still working on it, you know? <laughs> I think the, the warmer colors in the lighting is uh, helpful. This is, a, this is a very aggressively gray toned lamp, so. Um, getting rid of that always helps, I think. All right, so what else can we do? Maybe, I don't know. I'm worried about like kind of overdoing it. I think that these yellow are maybe bad if we're gonna have the yellow curtains. Um, the packs that we randomized were Eco Lifestyle, Movie Hangout, and uh, Wedding Stories were the three that we have been told by the game to use. So, kind of a fun set. I've never really used those together before, so. 
hate that. I really wanna, I keep trying to use this couch, clearly. I think that they, it looks bad when there's the yellow and the orange together. We need like more contrast, but the base game is not really. Yeah, we used James's pack randomizer G. Yeah, we did it on stream in the beginning, so. Um, yeah, I'm kind of feeling like maybe, maybe it's the orange tone on this that's not really working for me. We can look at the movie Hangout ones again. The problem is just that it's the orange and the yellow specifically that I feel like I can't make work, but I, I hate the swatches on that. Then you make it blue and it's like, that's cute, but... Should I do orange on the chairs? It's a dark orange. Ick. Why don't you come in that color orange? Don't think you ever use the movie hangout couch. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the movie hangout couch either. It's hard to use that one. How does the sage look? Sage chairs? We tried those a few times. It, it bothers me how like this is so minty. That's the color of the window. And these are so light. Maybe it's the rug that's the problem. Oh, I'm very committed to this rug. We wanna use a fun movie hangout rug. And some of the other options are a bit more like, they're worse, almost. <laughs> so I think the rug is fun. We just gotta make it, figure out what we're going for with it and make it work then. It'll be okay. Um, the unlockable eco lifestyle couch that matches the chairs. I was trying to mix and match them instead of using the same thing twice. Um, I don't know if that's a popular choice, but that was my thought process at least. Um, red chairs? Oh, um, like these? I don't think that looks good with the color scheme. I actually, I really like the yellow ones. But I just, it's like the yellow and the orange together that I don't know if I think looks good. You know? Maybe the floor and walls are very similar in tone. Well, we haven't picked the walls yet. If I, if I paint them back to blank, will that make everybody stop yelling about the walls? They hate the walls. <laughs> if I put it back blank, are you gonna, do we understand? I'm gonna come back to it. Yeah, I can show you the matching couch just to see. Um, this is the couch in the matching swatch. Um, if we did that, I think that we probably shouldn't do yellow curtains. And I quite like the yellow curtains because they're the most vibrant of them all. Um, I was really hoping to have it not be too matchy. I really wanted to try different chairs. Um, but I know that people like this better because it does match better, but are you sticking with the orange and teal? I don't know. I don't know yet. I don't know. No one knows the answer to any questions. <laughs> no one knows anything. We're still figuring it out. We're no, we don't know. <laughs> we could also, I guess, do like plain chairs, but that's boring. They're orange patterned curtains. Ugh. I think the pattern is like huge ick, huge ick on the pattern, at least to me. Um, there's possibility for like, no, I like, I, back again, I still prefer this couch being different. I prefer the like mix and match colors. Was there a reason that people hated the minty color? Cause I feel like that's what I had 
a while ago, and then we kept changing it. Is Was there a reason that people didn't like that? Or... I don't know. Um... Okay. Oh, interesting voting on my oldest Let's Plays. I didn't see that. That's really funny. Most of these, most of you probably don't even remember all of those. <laughs> um, most of you probably don't even have any recollection of those Let's Plays that were listed in that poll, which is really funny. <laughs> um, oh, some of you will, but I would say most don't because you probably weren't around back then. Um, Those are old Let's Plays, like things I was doing in like 2017. <laughs> so. Um, you'd choose a more vibrant color, but it looks good. This one? Oh my God, we're never gonna finish. I know you mean well. There isn't a, vib a more vibrant color on this couch. But like we sat here with the orange, we didn't like it. We sat here with the mint, we didn't, it's like, <sighs> no selection is, <laughs> no selection works. <laughs> Um, Melanie, thank you for the 27 months, and Alchemist, and Esperanta, and Ruby, thank you for the subs, too. Um, these are some more recent ones. Still not really that recent. My favorite of these is the Dylan Diaries, but a lot of you probably don't remember that. When they say Rags to Riches, by the way, they're not talking about Stanley. They're talking about the Rags to Riches series that I did in that poll. Like an actual Let's Play on YouTube. Um, but it's okay. <laughs> the poll is gonna be skewed. <laughs> um, but my favorite of those is definitely the Dylan Diaries. Um, the yellow couch blanket was nice. There's a yellow couch blanket. Oh, oh my god. Wait, maybe that works. The wood color is horrendous, but... Maybe we can mix and match somehow and make this work. I don't know. The Black Widow is what got you watching me? Really? That's so funny to look back on that so long ago. I love the Black Widow challenge. I had so much fun with that one too. Um, yeah, okay, I think Horrendous is good in this case. All right, we figured it out. <laughs> we figured out a color scheme. So we're off to a good start now. Um, we could put the little juice. That comes in that like darker wood color, which maybe is also good to mix and match with. I don't know. Oh, we know what else we could get. Would those fit in there? I don't really like it. Never mind. sorry. Um... Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. I've always hated this one. Don't know why. Maybe these are better. If I want my leaves, I could still get some leaves outside. I don't know if I'll end up using that or not, but. Meat wall? Oh. <laughs> That, that would be lovely, wouldn't it? Yeah. Sure would. Oh, we could do a birdhouse outside. There's a lot of stuff that you kind of forget exists, you know? Not really from wedding stories, though. Maybe from movie hangout again. Okay. Bye, oh, Melanie, thank you for the subs. Um, does this little table work at all? Could use the sort of vibrant yellow. That would be good. Have you guys never heard of the meat wall? Le okay, there's always somebody who doesn't know about the meat wall. So let's talk about it. Um, when we say meat wall, I'm literally talking about, it's a career unlockable. It's the vertical planter, but you can grow meat on it. I actually, you cannot make this up. This is a real true feature of eco lifestyle. Um, and I'm not kidding. So if you've never seen this before, well, welcome in. Um, it's the meat wall. <laughs> so 
every time someone's gonna ask you, you ever heard of the meat wall? Yeah, it's this. You literally harvest it, and then it gets short again, and then it grows up. And when you get these cubes of meat in your inventory when you harvest it, and interestingly, vegetarian sims do not wish to eat the meat wall stuff. Vegetarian sims find it gross. It's like real meat to them. Um, I learned because I tested it. But yeah, meat wall. <laughs> That's the grossest concept. It is kind of a disgusting thought, isn't it? Just growing meat outside. But anyway, the meat wall comes with eco lifestyle. It is a feature of eco lifestyle. Let's get the fancy thing. Um, the meat isn't real meat. It is though, like they call it a faux meat cube, but I guess it's kind of similar to like, um, like the lab grown meat debate. You know when everybody tries to like gotcha to vegetarians and be like, well, would you eat lab grown meat then? Um, they always try and give you a little gotcha thingy. And I, speaking for myself and probably most others, the answer is ick, no. Um, <laughs> but I, I think of the, the meat wall as being like lab grown meat. It's like real meat. Obviously, uh, no animal in this case specifically died for it, but you know, they did in the beginning when they were testing it. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's kind of what I picture the meat wall to be like. So that's why the veggies don't want it. Um, why no lab grown meat? Genuine question. Well, I don't want to eat meat. <laughs> Uh, the, the easy answer is I don't want to eat meat <laughs> for a lot of reasons. So why would I want to eat lab grown meat? <laughs> I find the whole existence of the argument to be really frustrating too, because it's one of those things that people always, I'm, I mean it when I say they try and like gotcha with it all the time. I don't even talk about veg vegetarian that much. Like I don't even really bring it up that often unless like a question gets asked or in this case, we're talking about the meat wall. So it's kind of relevant, but it's like every time it comes up and people are just weird about it. And I don't know, it just give me the ick. Um, it's an interesting idea. Good for people that want to eat meat. I don't want to eat meat, so whatever. <laughs> um, I don't, it's not for me, you know? Um, anyway, sorry, I don't mean to come on strong. It's just like every time <laughs> it gets brought up so often. Um, okay, I think the yellow is kind of an ick as well. Maybe pink. That's nice, cute colors. Um, do I ever eat meat substitutes? Yeah, I mean, everybody has a fake burger from time to time, you know? <laughs> um, I, I'm not really one to cook with like beyond meat or anything at home that much, if that's what you're asking. It's expensive and also I don't really like it that much. Um, I would rather eat things like tofu or like actual vegetable alternatives, beans, you know? Um, but it's always nice to have some like fake chicken nuggets around or whatever it might be. Um, okay. Oh, I do not like the impossible nuggets. I haven't eaten meat in years. Um, so for me, uh, the impossible nuggets taste way too much like chicken. It kind of gives me the creeps a little bit. Um, I know that someone maybe who eats chicken regularly probably wouldn't think it as much, but for me, who hasn't eaten chicken in so long, like I was like 15 or something when I last ate chicken. So the impossible chicken is like way too realistic. I just don't really have any interest in eating that, you know? Um, but yeah, it's like kind of weird, isn't it? It gives me the, it just kind of gives me the ick. <laughs> Dan likes them. Um, but I don't know, it's a little too much, the impossible meat. <laughs> um, every little, it makes it inconspicuous kind of thing, you're the subs. Um, your husband who eats meat thinks the impossible Whopper tastes more like a real Whopper, tastes more real than the real Whopper. I could see that. Um, oh, the popcorn machine instead of coffee is more fun, Christine. I kind of forgot about that. We have the popcorn maker because we're doing this with the, um, 
with the pack. So, oh, and it looks kind of good right there. Okay, they can cook in this corner. Yeah, impossible meat is pretty expensive. Me and Dan only buy um, impossible meat or like any sort of fake meat if it's buy one, get one free at the store. Um, but I don't really like it. It's just not my preference. It's one of those, it's like, you know, you go to a restaurant and they've got nothing else to order. So you're like, I'll get an impossible burger because there's nothing. That's what the purpose it serves for me, really. <laughs> um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> okay, I don't really like that, actually. It doesn't even come in white, which kind of makes me feel sad, but... Um, I don't know. Have I saved recently? No. Does it come in purple? Are you sure? Yeah, I'd prefer a black bean burger too. Um, that's my preference. Yeah, Poppy, I have been since I was, uh, I forget if I was 15 or 16. At this point, I don't remember. When I was in high school, I went vegetarian. I haven't eaten meat since, so. Um, but anyway, I think, no, Dan's not vegetarian. Um, this is, that's another question that gets asked all the time. <laughs> Literally nonstop asked all the time. Um, but anyway, we don't cook meat at home, so. Sometimes he orders meat when we're out. Um, okay. This one does come in colors, so we could use that one. Could also do it in plain white. I don't know. It's when Simsy got her second trait and randomized to vegetarian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, much like in The Sims. You know what, when you become a teen, you randomize your second trait? Well, vegetarian. That's why I went vegetarian. Duh. <laughs> That's the whole reason, is just randomize the trait, you know? <laughs> As one does. No, 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 no. no. Um, anyway, I guess I don't really talk about it much on YouTube, but it comes up a lot on stream because people always ask questions about, you know, what are you gonna have for dinner? You know? <laughs> you talk about these things a little bit more often on stream, I guess. <laughs> Um, okay. Yeah, I wish that the dietary preferences were like a like and dislike thing instead of a trait. I have always found it kind of sad that the dietary preferences were a whole trait. As if you only get three traits and one of your defining characteristics is you don't eat meat. <laughs> one of your only three characteristics. I know, and Brew, there's no like, um, you know, like gluten thing. I wish that they had that for you. It would be cool if they had um, like a like and dislike preference thing. Um, yeah, and the lactose intolerant one is just a trait, as if like a third of your entire personality is being lactose intolerant. I mean, it makes for a funny joke, right? Ha ha, lactose intolerant people stay eating lactose and then, you know, but it's, it's just kind of like, you wish you could have other traits or whatever. Um, I don't know what to use with the wallpaper. I also don't even know if I like the kitchen. What goes here? Maybe an ottoman? No. I may have to come back to this room. I'm gonna do the bathroom now, cause the, this main room is making me feel stressed. Um, tile. No, what, Laser Blake? Thank you for the subs. Um, yeah, I agree with that, Christine. It is kind of weird that they're like working so hard to let people try to create themselves, but then a dietary preference is like, it means you get less of a personality because of it. But, um, I don't know. It doesn't matter that much. It's only a simple thing, but. And it is possible to like, play that way without the trait or whatever. Like you can just choose to have your Sims like only eat, you know, whatever. But it's just easier because when you have them like auto grabbing food out of the fridge, even that doesn't work half the time. 
<laughs> but it's just easier if they actually like listen to the preference that you've set for them. Um, anyway, I think I kind of like this. What's the challenge? Um, it's not really a challenge. We just used a randomizer to determine what three packs we should build with. And the three packs were Eco Lifestyle, Wedding Stories, and Movie Hangout. <laughs> so we're just building a house, but using those three packs. And I guess the challenge is like trying to, uh, almost like trying to mix and match those in a way that works and makes sense and is interesting. Cause it's, they're kind of a, they're kind of an odd combo, I guess. I don't really like this tile because I wish that it wasn't so dark. Like, I don't want the beige. Is there a wallpaper that could be fun? Probably not. Um, I mean, I can see that cupcake, but wouldn't it still be better if in the game you had like a separate way to define those like food preferences, food intolerances, and then you still have the same three traits as everybody else? Because it, 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 it kind of does become a personality trait to an extent in real life as well, but it's not your only personality trait, you know? Um, like you still have other defining aspects of your life. You have other interests, <laughs> right? Like, um, and it stinks that then you only get two in The Sims. But it doesn't, again, doesn't matter that much. It's just interesting to think about. Um, if we only had, if we had like five trait slots, like in The Sims 3, I think it'd be different. But when you only have three, it's not enough. The three trait slots doesn't really cover it, I don't think. Um, okay, so... Maybe we get a pretty bathtub. And then we get a toilet. I don't like that. I don't know. Um, for the sinks? Yeah, the sinks, it's just not that fun, is it? The options that we have? Can I use the same one? Do you think that looks okay when you combine it with that floor tile? It might be okay. Um, Ray of Sunshine, Marsupial, and Marina Noah, thank you for the subs. If anything, also, I find the vegetarian trait to be uh, kind of annoying. <laughs> I hate how the Sims always grab the wrong food by accident. Always. Even after they said they fix it, they still get the wrong food sometimes out of the fridge. And then like, now they're sick. Make it make sense. If you are hungry, I think it's because I tell them to get leftovers and then if there's nothing that is vegetarian leftover, then they still just eat one. But, quick meal. Autonomously get a quick meal instead. You know, like you're not accidentally going to eat a steak. You should never autonomously grab a steak. Or if they could just wave around and be like, oh, I can't do that. You'd be like, oh, there's no food in there. You know, like, but instead they actually end up grabbing one and it's something they can't eat and then they complain about it and they get sick and then it's like, well, that's you. You did that. Ridiculous. So it makes me not want to use the trait. <laughs> it, I just find the trait kind of annoying. Also, I find this bathroom kind of annoying. My favorite mirror is the wide one from, uh, Parenthood. I think it's really good for this sort of purpose. Because it's big and wide and it just looks cute on top of this. Mm. No. No. You think they updated it? Oh no, they didn't. You know how I know French? Because it literally happened to me today. <laughs> Today, my Sim ate food that they shouldn't have. So, like a, a vegetarian did. <laughs> so they said they fixed it, but it doesn't. It's, it's not. They lied. 
Um, the lactose intolerance Sims eating dairy is realistic though. Oh yeah, definitely. 100%. Um, I hate this bathroom actually. Maybe I should do, instead of these, I should just do like regular sinks. Cause these are fine and we could do like two of them and then we could have, maybe these are okay. Yeah, I'm gonna swap it to a fancier tub, I think, now that we're doing so many expensive things, but I haven't done it yet. Maybe make that like a light wood color, I don't know. Yeah, the door is from Movie Hangout. It's really cute, right? One of their best doors in the game, I would say. Were they two different colors? What, the mirrors? No, they're duplicates of each other. It's lighting. These look different colors too. They're not. <laughs> they're never different colors. It's just the lighting in the game. I think it's also, um... No, they're the same light color already. Um, I know, it's very annoying, but welcome to The Sims 4. They love to do this kind of thing to us. Okay, we're looking for one that is silver, but has a nice color to it. That one. Uh-oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to yawn. No, it's a huge window, it's not a door. It's a big window. It looks good from the outside. It's maybe a little big for the inside, but we're gonna put blinds on it, so it'll be fine. How am I feeling? I'm feeling a lot better. Um, the past, like yesterday and today have been a lot better. I don't think I'm too sick anymore, so that's good. And the worst of it was on Wednesday and Thursday. Um, but I'm feeling better now, so. I had COVID last week, if that was unclear, horrible. Um, still not gonna like leave the house or anything yet, but feeling better, so. Um, that's uh, a big win. <laughs> um, I Yesterday, I read three books. I had, uh, me and Dan had a little read-a-thon, I called it, and I read three books yesterday, so that was also very fun. Was that 155 smillions for the hand towel? <gasps> oh my god, I didn't even notice. Yeesh. Yeah, I think it's like, I love this minty color. I hate the beige on the tile. I don't want it to be beige. I need it to be better than that. I'm like fully tempted to just, oh, mint. I'm very tempted to just do like, honestly, let's put the mint in the hallway. I don't know. Um, <laughs> Gus and, and some and Princess and Allie, thank you for the subs. I'm playing on PC Potato Soup, um, not on Mac. I'm playing on PC. I'm trying to pick a new wallpaper I can. Eco Lifestyle Big Tiles? I don't know. They're so big. Like, I don't really wanna... Unless I did it in like actually white. Yeah, Tommy Oaks was the celebrity bowler. Yeah, celebrity bowler Tommy Oaks. I haven't played with that sim in a long time, so a lot of people probably don't remember him. A lot of people probably forgot about that one. <laughs> or never were here for that, so they wouldn't know. Who is Moss? Moss is our legacy challenge heir in our not so very challenge, the one that we're playing on YouTube right now. Or on not, not so very is our Twitch stream. Sorry, I like combined the two sentences I had in my head. Moss is our legacy here for our Twitch stream. Um, <laughs> the way I like uh, double take, no, that's not correct. <laughs> that's not right, Kayla. <laughs> Guys, this bathroom's so boring. Uh, look at more movie hangout stuff. Maybe, you know what we could do instead potentially is what if we like, got rid of those mirrors and we only did fancy mirrors. I mean, that's like a really bold choice. 
you know, considering how small it is. But maybe it's cute, I don't know. Like, tiniest mirror ever, though. Do the blue one? You think so? Oh, the blue one's cool. You can't size mirrors up. That's what happens when you do it. The reflection stays. I know. It's very annoying. Okay. Add more darker colors to match the mirrors. Yeah, it's just... This bathroom is cursed. I think that we also need to get maybe like a... Should I scoot that over? Oh, it looks terrible from the outside, never mind. We could build like a separate spot for the toilet on purpose. The mirrors kind of look like the Strangerville creature. Oh my. <laughs> oh, they kind of do. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I think it's the mother plant. Okay, it might be good if we got some little, uh, Should I leave it with the wall there? Probably not, right? Hmm. Could come back to the bathroom. Oh, I feel really committed to getting this thing over with. If we can't figure out the bathroom, how are we gonna figure out the entire rest of the house, you know? At least that's kind of my thought process on it. If we can't do this, then good luck doing anything. So Movie Hangout does have curtains. Um, the Movie Hangout curtains are really... They're a lot. I'm just warning you. Doesn't mean we can't use them, but it is something to consider. I used to be obsessed with these when the game first came out. But we could do that. I think it helps give us some more vibes, if you will. That's not bright enough. That's like too dark. I hate the bath mats. Hate them. Okay, let's look at more bathroom things. Um, okay. And then maybe a plant. Do I think I'll finish the 100 baby challenge before May? Well, I could, if I really tried. It's gonna take some courage though. Oh, that's why, scoot down. The floor looks so cold. It's just tile. There's a lot of tile in real life too, in bathrooms. No different than any other sort of tile. Um, better question, do you want to finish it before May? I, um, here's sort of my thing about 100 Baby, right? At, at the point that we're at now, it's no longer hard. Like, it's not really difficult in the slightest. And because of that, it's a little bit boring, which is why we've been talking about like um, cheating away our money and stuff. Because it's so like, I don't know, when was it difficult? Oh, it's way harder in the beginning when you have less, like right now my Sim has maxed the parenting skill. She's got like 40,000 simoleons in the bank on top of our, you know, couple hundred thousand simoleon house. Um, it's just like all of a sudden you reach a point where all your skills are maxed, you know, you've got a system down, you, uh, with practice it becomes easy, and then it's just like really repetitive and boring trying to play it. 
Because, like, every single sim has the exact same situation. <laughs> um, I don't know, that part's, like, a little bit less fun to me, but... Anyway. Um... Any thoughts on picking a new mom? I don't really want to. I kind of like the idea of doing the whole thing with just the one sim. Um, I'm more interested in cheating away money, I think. Like, that's that's kind of more fun-seeming to me. Um, but, yeah, it's just like a grind to do it all. But, it's okay. It, it was difficult for me when the like infant update first came out and we had just started it but yeah yeah i'm thinking about in the next couple of weeks bulldozing our house and um cheating away a lot of our money and it's like kind of starting lower or something um we paint for money and we make so much money it's like not hard to get it back so um I just- I've spent so long building the house that we're in right now, I like don't want to get rid of it straight away, you know? Cause start counting occultists too. A lot of people do that! <laughs> Let me check something actually, hold on. Let me look at my own spreadsheet. That is one of the official rules, is that you're, when you have an occult baby, you can count it as two kids. I always said that sounded like cheating. So I didn't want to do it. Let me- imagine if we did that though. Um, we had twins with Vlad. Werewolf, so we got two extra, three extra. Is Daddy Winter's baby an occult baby? Four extra, five extra, six extra. We'd have six extra. I think Daddy Winter's baby's an occult baby. I feel strongly about that. I think the Tragic Clown's kid's an occult baby too. Personally, that's why they're marked. But <laughs> I think they're special. You actually get a special trait from when your when your parent is Daddy Winter, though. Like that's actually a true fact. Um. But the challenge was made before the concept of Daddy Winter, so I say yes, count it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um. So all of a sudden we have. What did I say? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight extra. I've had 70 babies. Yeah. True. Have I seen Dan's stream title? No, what does it say? I'm gonna find out. Oh, I'm in my reading era. <laughs> I've, I have like so tricked Dan into becoming like a, a big reader like me. Um, he, uh, he's actually really enjoying it too. So, you're welcome, Dan. You're welcome. I'm really good at uh, getting Dan to be interested in my hobbies. <laughs> no, he doesn't do the same things as me. I like to read like, um, like fantasy stuff and like, Historical fiction stuff, some romance stuff. Dan doesn't care about romance at all. So he he's read this week. He read a couple. Um, he read Lisa Jewell's None of This Is True, which is kind of like a thriller thing. It sounded scary. I wouldn't have liked to read it. Um, but he read that this weekend. So and then he read Percy Jackson. <laughs> Which is not a thriller, but <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I've heard really good things about None of This Is True. People really like that one. Um, I have not read it though. Okay, I have an idea for this bathroom and you might hate this, okay? Thoughts on the lime green with it. You're on book three now? Oh, really? Yesterday, me and Dan both read uh, Sea of Monsters. We took turns. That was one of the three books I read yesterday, was book two of Percy Jackson. I read Percy Jackson as a child, and I was obsessed with it, completely obsessed with it. Um, and I hadn't read it probably since I was like eight or nine years old. So um, it's been kind of fun for me to go back and read it now as an adult. So um, 
I've been reading through it recently. It's been kind of fun. So, Gab Smolder has some good horror book recommendations. I believe you. Um, I won't be looking for them. <laughs> uh, yeah, like I said, it's just not my thing. Dan likes that kind of thing. It's so not my thing. So not my thing. Um, but anyway, your Percy yeah, Jackson era started in middle school and never ended, really? Yeah, for me, it was definitely elementary school. It's been a long time. Um, you ordered the Heroes of Olympus a month ago and it still isn't here? Oh, pain. Pain. You're reading City of Fallen Angels? Oh my god. The level of obsessed I was with that book series when I was in high school, you have no idea. <laughs> I had a problem. I was so, so obsessed. <laughs> like, it was a, a deep obsession for me. I've been thinking about um, rereading them, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. Oh, the Infernal Devices I liked more, but like, just generally speaking, the Shadowhunters as a whole, I was like fully obsessed with. I haven't read any of the more recent books that Cassandra Clare has written, but... Um, around like up until like 2017 i was deep in it very obsessed so um i'm glad to hear that you are all the same <laughs> not everybody but <laughs> i really liked them when i was younger um me and my two friends in high school we were all collectively obsessed with them so it was fun for us um, I haven't watched the Percy Jackson show yet, no. I would probably watch it, I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, maybe I'll wait until, like, closer to the second season coming out, though. Because <laughs> I know they just greenlit a second season. <laughs> but I don't want to wait, so maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just, uh, not watch the show until it's closer to it coming out. <laughs> so let me for the nine months. Um, okay. Yeah, I've heard good things about it, though. People like that so, um, yeah, Queen Pasta, those are on my list. I actually own both of those books already. I haven't read them yet, though. Um, but I do already own those. They're on the physical TBR, if you will. So, okay. I don't really love this room, but it's okay. I'm working on it. Oh, this will be cool to put perhaps in the staircase. Yeah. I really like the colors of that. That's nice. Uh, Edward, thank you for the 29 months too. I haven't read that one, KJ. I've heard good things about that. Um, no, I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna uh, give you guys access to my Goodreads. I don't really use it like that anyway, but um, I, I really, 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 really do not want to be perceived in that way. Like, the second you give people the ability to read all of the, to see all of the books that you've read and how fast you read them and what books are, do you want to read? It's like all of that, I, that's like not, that's mine, not yours, you know? Like, I just don't want people to be digging into it and they will dig into it and like ask me about it and it's just like, I want to have my own thing, you know? Like... I just don't want to have people, like, looking at it, you know? It's not like it's embarrassing. It's just, like, I don't know. It's, it feels, like, too much to give everyone access to. But, um, anyway. What happened to the poor bathroom? What, you don't like it? It's chaotic, but I think it's chaotic in kind of a fun way. Maybe I'm wrong? Who knows? Um... Maybe I'll put in this section, like, uh... Mm, you know what could be interesting? Almost like a linen closet. But something like this, where they could store towels. You know? That would be helpful. And make it some more pink. Okay. Okay. It's not speaking to you? Oh. 
I mean, it's ugly. It is. But that's fun, you know what I mean? <laughs> Sometimes it's okay if, that, if it's like leaning a little bit ugly, right? Um, I don't know. I think it's fun. And it's like the kids' bathroom, so... Okay, I think let's do this hallway a little bit. I'm gonna have to come back downstairs because I'm letting myself get too stressed about the downstairs. So let's think about the hallway a bit more. Oh, we're not gonna finish this build tonight probably, huh? I spent way too long on it. What did I, what day did I say I was gonna build again? Oh my God, not until this weekend, yikes. Okay, that's fine. I thought it was gonna be small. Turns out it is small, but it's also chaotic. <laughs> So it's harder than I thought. Um, we are using Eco Lifestyle, Movie Hangout, and Wedding Stories were the three that we randomized to use. So kind of a funky combo, I would say. But funky in a fun way. Funky in a fun way combo. Okay. Um, I love that. That looks good to me. Yeah, we spent a really long time trying to figure out the downstairs living room situation. Way longer than we needed to, but we were extremely unsure. <laughs> so that resulted in a lot of back and forth with the downstairs. Um, what have we used from wedding stories? Uh, a fair bit of like little decor, all the windows. We're in the wedding stories world, so. But mostly, I mean, the window's probably the most defining feature of Wedding Stories. We have like some plants and like lights on the table downstairs and stuff too from Wedding Stories, but, um, you know, oh, sorry. Oh, the dining chairs are Wedding Stories downstairs too. We'll get back down there in a bit. I'll show you again. I just, I can't look at the downstairs right now. It's stressing me out. So I have to take a break and do something else because we need to like return to the downstairs with a fresh set of eyes in a bit. And I do not have fresh eyes right now. <laughs> I have mean eyes. I'm not, I'm being too critical of the build. So <laughs> we need to like step away and then come revisit the thing that was stressing me out downstairs, you know? Um, it's hard to like look at it, honestly. Dan's playing the guitar on his stream. That does not surprise me. Dan plays a lot of guitar on stream and stuff. He's like basically a little music streamer these days. Um, he sings and he plays his guitar on stream. <laughs> he also bought a ukulele recently. He's been playing it a lot. Um, he taught himself how to play all these instruments. I don't possess any musical talent. So to me, I find that very impressive. I think it's cool that he can do that. Um, I also think it's quite brave to like sing on stream. <laughs> You know, like to me, I, I find that really impressive because I'm just not, I'm not, I wouldn't sing in front of you. I just wouldn't. Sorry, chat. It's not for me. I won't be singing to you. <laughs> yeah, we stream at the same time, Caitlin. Um, he doesn't stream on Wednesdays though. So he's not live when I'm live in the morning on Wednesdays. It stems from when we were long distance. Um, and this will make sense to you. But when we were, when we were long distance, which was for a few years, um, it's hard with the time zone difference between the US and the UK to find time to spend together. So we like intentionally had our streams at the same time so that we could um, like hang out afterward for a little bit when we were long distance. Um, and even that was like very late for him. Um, but now it like works out nicely too for, you know, we get off stream and cook dinner or whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was, that was kind of the, intentional thought process behind it, I guess. Which makes sense. Okay. Um, I'm gonna use this. Shockingly, not really a ton of options here. <laughs> I guess you could use this one, but I prefer this thing, I fear. Okay, I may try and use Ooh. Oh, that's nice. I don't know. 
Okay, you miss happy birthday covers featuring the harmonica. <laughs> yeah, I haven't really used my harmonica um, ever since I moved. I kind of, I kind of retired it, if you will. Um, I used to do that when it was people's birthdays. I had this weird little, it wasn't even a song. It was like a noise that I would play on the harmonica. Um, but it sort of became, uh, I don't want to call it a negative thing. But it sort of started becoming a bit of a negative thing because people would be like, if I missed their message saying it was their birthday, they would type things in my chat like, you are ignoring me on my birthday, like now I'm crying and it's my birthday, you ruined my birthday, Kayla. Like I, all I've wanted all year is a birthday song from you and you're ignoring me. <laughs> and I'd be like, oh my God, I didn't even see your message. Like, whoa. <laughs> I was not trying to, like, that's so not the intention. Um, and so because it became kind of like a negative thing, like, I, I just, that's not the goal. Like, the goal isn't for you to be upset about it, you know? Like, that's, that's the complete opposite. It's not meant to cause pain. Um, so I was like, ah, stop doing it. <laughs> um, I think that, I think that we, maybe the stream got a little bit too big for it, which feels kind of cringe to say, but, uh, is probably unfortunately true. Um, yeah, it just wasn't really, I guess it wasn't really practical anymore, so. Um, anyway, it was, it was like, a lot of people saying stuff like that, and it kind of made me nervous. <laughs> so, um, yeah, anyway. My goal wasn't to make anybody sad, and that's what was happening, so I just, no more of that, you know? Um... The Sims has a video premiering tomorrow? Yeah, they're gonna have a, the, we assume the trailer for the stuff pack they tease is gonna be coming out tomorrow. Um, so we think it's gonna be a stuff pack trailer. They, in the, um, the quarterly teaser, they talked about a, like, bejeweled stuff pack, or I forget the exact wording they said, but something along those lines, something, you know, best believe I'm still bejeweled, you know, that's what they said, but... We're, uh, <laughs> expecting that trailer to come out tomorrow. I might use this one in here instead. Um, we don't really know what to expect out of it yet. I think we're all, you know, not 100% sure. It's, there's like a, you know, the little gemstone thing, um, that you can, the collectible, like, little rocks in the base game that you can dig up. They have one of those in the teaser video, and because they're talking about the jewels and stuff, we're all thinking that maybe the pack is gonna be somehow like, you know, remember, do you remember maybe that supernatural thing um, from The Sims 3, the gem cutter from The Sims 3? We're thinking like, maybe it's gonna be something like that. Maybe it's gonna be like jewelry making. Like those are some of the ideas that have come up. Um, obviously no, no one actually knows specifically what it's gonna be, but those are things that we were all kind of talking about. Um, oh, it's not gonna be a Taylor Swift collab pack. I'm sorry, I was making a joke. I, it's not, uh, there's, I, I think it is beyond unlikely, beyond unlikely that they would ever be able <laughs> to afford to work with Taylor Swift. <laughs> there's just absolutely no way, no way that she would ever involve herself in this. <laughs> Um, why do I believe there'll be a trailer tomorrow? Oh, they, because they posted about it. Um, there's like a premiere countdown happening on their YouTube channel. Um, so we know there's going to be something tomorrow. And we're assuming it's a stuff pack trailer because it like fits with the teaser of the stuff pack they already told us about. But we'll see. Um, but yeah, they, they posted it. So I'm not just making that up, I swear. <laughs> Um, I didn't- I didn't just, like, say something random. There is- there is reason behind this belief of mine. <laughs> um, it would be cool if I did a collab pack like that. Um, with Taylor Swift specifically, but... Or any sort of big artist, kind of like the Katy Perry one, but maybe better than the Katy Perry one, please. Better done, perhaps. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's fun that we're having a couple stuff packs coming out in kind of close succession because they've been really good, so I'm pretty excited about them. Um, 
You know what's hilarious though? I'm going to New York at the end of the month. Um, <laughs> I've got plans. Uh, I'm gonna be in New York uh, like the very end of the month. Um, and that is a Thursday. That is two weeks from now. And uh, <laughs> I would not be surprised if that was the exact day that the stuff pack came out. Is that Thursday? Plans that me and Hope made like six months ago. So <laughs> now I don't need to borrow your PC. Don't worry, Hope. I'll uh I'll pre-record or whatever. I don't think if the pack actually comes out that day though, I won't be able to stream on release day. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get early access and we can stream like early access to the pack, but I won't be able to stream on release day if it does come out on that Thursday. Um, because I will not be home. And I'm not gonna ditch Hope and say, I'm gonna stream from Hope's PC. Imagine we do like a 10 minute long stream. <laughs> no, we don't need to do that. Um, well, we know the release date now. Yeah, I know, right? It like basically confirms it's gonna be that day. If CMC's busy, it's gonna be that day. But I wouldn't be surprised, unfortunately, if it was that day, because uh, it seems like they have a habit of announcing these things like two weeks early. Usually comes out on a Thursday. So we can expect the update to be just based on like regular schedule. You know, if the announcement's tomorrow, I would guess the update will be the 27th. The pack will come out on the 29th. Um, is kind of my uh, assumption <laughs> based on how things usually go. So, um, anyway, we'll see. But I don't really expect it to be next week, so. Stuff packs are announced closer to release date. I don't know. Um, Home Chef Hustle announcement. Um, the official reveal trailer was on September 14th and then it launched September 28th. So, <laughs> as I said, <laughs> about two weeks. So, the date of my wedding. No, I've actually been thinking about that. I won't tell you the day. And this is like not until next year. But I think about that a lot because me and Dan, like, you know, we booked the venue, we organized the wedding date and stuff. Um, just you wait. They're going to try and drop a Sims pack this week or that week. They can't be trusted. My wedding's not on a Thursday, thankfully. Um, but. I really wouldn't be surprised if they tried to be like, you know, that week still or something. Me doing captions at my table. <laughs> Hope's at the wedding on her laptop. She's doing captions during the dinner. <laughs> yeah, totally. Makes perfect sense. Good stuff, okay. Well, <laughs> see you there, Sims team, looking forward to it. No, I don't know. I. I would be surprised, I think, but also I wouldn't at the same time with how things usually go. Um, okay. Now let's just do the base game cute little things. I don't like the red one. Orange is good, green is good. Maybe put those across the whole wall back there behind the bed. Um, oh yeah, Hope usually does captions the day the video comes out. Sometimes if a video is up early, like if it's finished in time, Hope will start the captions like sooner, but most times she does it same day because unfortunately a lot of the times we're like editing and uploading same day, but not always. Sometimes they're up there in advance. Um, but it kind of just depends. Um, the also really annoying thing with like a, a brand deal type of video is that it's like done and uploaded for like two weeks. And then the brand finally comes back and they're like, oh, can you change the wording of this part? And then it messes everything up <laughs> with the captions. Um, so it's annoying to start them too far in advance. It's not that big of a deal. Like you can work around that, but it is annoying though. Um, 
Okay. Um. No, you don't want that. It also depends whether or not Hope's busy, you know? Because Hope has a real person job as well. So, <laughs> um, okay. I feel like this is looking good, maybe. How long does it take to do captions? Um, that also depends on the video and like uh, how much I'm talking. I think that Hope often finds the gameplay videos to take a little bit longer, um, but maybe she'll tell you. <laughs> Uh, maybe she'll step in and, and let us know. But I think those gameplay videos are often a bit, like, worse or whatever. Um, so. Okay. So, in the primary bedroom downstairs, I really do like this bed. Let's base it off the rug that we picked, though. Let's do a different rug. Maybe we can make, um, like, this darker rug work. Ooh, with the mint accents. Also, I don't know about this thing, but I'm just gonna use it anyway because it's cool. We've been talking about it, but how long does it take for Dan to edit the video? Um, that also depends on what kind of video it is and how long it is because sometimes, and it's hard for me to even tell you because sometimes I record for two and a half hours and the video cuts down to 30 minutes. Sometimes I record for two and a half hours, it cuts down to be an hour long. It really depends how much I spoke, so <laughs> that's a, a big difference too, but you guys to cut the whole thing. He usually cuts the whole thing down, cuts out like the empty spaces and then watches it all the way through a couple times. So Depends on how long the video is, but also like some kinds are a little bit uh, more straightforward and other ones are worse because I repeat myself a million times. Like when, when he has to edit the videos I do about like a, a trailer reaction, um, sometimes when I'm like trying to, cause I don't like, um, so normally when I make a video, like a review video or a, I don't know, thing like that, it's, I don't script it but I kind of script it because I'll write like an outline of what I want to say. When you're doing a trailer reaction, there is no outline because you're reacting and then talking about like th thoughts afterwards. So I'm, I kind of just ramble and that makes it like take a lot longer to edit because there's not like any structure to it. I'm just talking, 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 <laughs> you know? Um, so it's a bit like a slower process, I guess, because I'm, I don't have a method to my madness as much. You know, um, and also I get excited about new Sims things. So I have a lot of thoughts and I just talk and talk so much. Um, but anyway, <laughs> when I make let's play videos, do I speak the whole time? Um, not the whole time. There's a lot of gap, like maybe it's like sometimes, uh, it also depends who's home from work, you know? Cause like sometimes it's like, oh, I'm gonna skip through the night while they're sleeping. Oh, I'll skip while they're at work. Oh, I'll play for a little bit and have them work on skills for a bit. It kind of just depends. Um, I know that's not like a helpful answer, but <laughs> it kind of just depends on the video. <laughs> so, um, ew. Let me try that one. Oh, I don't like it though. Um, I think, oh, that's the one that matches the rug. Ooh, might be too much. Might be better to have a neutral color on the curtains, but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we are kind of lacking in base game side tables. I agree. I'm really, really focusing on movie hangout in this. Maybe I'll use the eco lifestyle curtains instead because they do have some patterns in the eco lifestyle curtains and these are two panels of curtains as well um just drove past an ea office in your town wild Ooh, you don't need to tell us which one they have a couple places around um like both around the world and uh like locally within the u.s 
There's an EA in Orlando, isn't there? Because they do like play testing and stuff there, I've heard. I don't know where it is. I've never thought about it. Yeah, they have one in Orlando. West Amelia Street. Never been there, but. Um, ah, I see. I'm scrolling out. Closer to downtown. Makes sense. <laughs> uh, just knock on the door. I like show up and like, hey guys. Um, it's a little Simsy. <laughs> Anyway, um, I think, does Dan get big money for editing your videos or is it like a husband thing? <laughs> I used to pay Dan to edit my videos. I don't pay him anymore. It's kind of like a, I mean, it, if I paid him, it would just be, okay, it's now it's in our joint bank account. <laughs> you know, like we have, we have a shared bank account, so it's like not really, you know, like, <laughs> it just goes in a circle, doesn't it? So I don't, we don't like pay Dan anymore. Cause like, it, you know, <laughs> that there's no point, I guess. Um, but anyway, I used to pay him when we were like dating and he first started editing me. He, he would edit for me like uh, a couple videos a week when I was graduating college. Cause I was very stressed and he had just graduated college. So it was like good timing, but um, yeah, that was, uh, at this point a while back, so. Um, but anyway, yeah, we don't really have to do that too much anymore, so. Um, so, no. Oh, this is cute. That could be a fun picture to fit on the wall right there nicely, right? Oh, I actually love that. Um. Okay, I think that I wanna get a dresser. Maybe I could use, ooh. Okay. Maybe I size this divider down and we put it over there and I keep this thing over here. They're so big, the ones from Eco Lifestyle. I don't even think they can walk around this bed, like. Well, let's find out. You should be able to. If you complain, I'll be mad at you. Oh, you're fine. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> All is well. Simsy, Seisha, and Ol, and Eddie Key, uh, and Em, and Nikki, thank you for the subs. Okay. Um. Yeah, I like the divider like that. Maybe if we get a mirror on this wall. Yeah, seriously, some of the dressers in this game are way too big. Way, way, way too big. Why do you slot like that? Nonsense. Of course you don't slot in there because that would just make too much sense. That guy's got some serious sideburns. Yeah, he does. <laughs> we just randomized this guy. Um, okay, it's simple enough, but Oh yeah, we can play a little game where we guess the price when we're done. I always love to do that. I think that's fun. So we'll definitely do that, I think. We love a little guess the price game. Ceiling light. I might actually get some little ceiling lights like these in the bathrooms. Cause I always like how that looks. And then we can always try to... See, you see how that's so lightly colored? Yeesh. Um, anyway. Okay, that's a little bright, so maybe get rid of this one. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> it looks good though, I like the upstairs. Um, I'll think about the outside a bit more later. On the inside, shall I do the brick wall that we had talked about? I might even do the brick wall and then paint the other walls like a white color. because I don't want it to be too much. Hi, Shella, how are you? I wish that we had some more hanging plants in these packs. 
I'm gonna look at more of the things from Eco Lifestyle. Cause Eco Lifestyle has a lot of like craftable type stuff that could maybe be cute. But also not really, apparently. Oh, it would have been fun if we had a little kid's toy. Too bad. You're being brave and answering emails? Oh, that's very good, Chella. I'm glad. You'll get through it. <laughs> well, you have the Eco Lifestyle mirror. I guess I could use that one instead, which is maybe an improvement. And then we can just leave it like that. Um, okay. So in here, I've been kind of thinking about trying to mix and match some accent colors. I also think I want to get a picture of some kind on this wall, which maybe could be like, oh, is there a movie poster that would be cute? No. No. Can always do the little mirror. I used to love taking this and like putting a couple of them, but I don't think it looks that good. We have a Discord, Nana. Yeah, we have a Discord. Um, just discord.gg forward slash Lil Simsy is, is our server. Um, anyone is welcome to join. Okay. Maybe I get like a shoe rack. Oh, that seems good. Okay. Um, another light over there. I think we should get a pretty light over this, but, oh, they're all too small. Maybe just this one. Okay. Yeah, it's very, very vibrant. You were like, I wonder what pack she's going to use and as soon as you open the stream, you knew. Oh yeah, it's very movie hangout in here. <laughs> it is, it is very movie hangout. You can tell immediately that one of the packs we randomly spun was movie hangout. <laughs> oh, the door, it's not from a pack, the open door. Um, it's, it's just, there was literally a sim walking through it. The door itself is from Movie Hangout, but it's not like open by default. Um, to answer your question, it's not like an open door. It's just that door was open for a sec. <laughs> um, Cause there was a sim walking through it. Okay, we had done a lot of orange. That's gonna look ridiculous with the walls there, but I'm not too mad about that to be honest. I think that it would be good to have a little bit more of the orange color in a couple places. Um, okay. You know what? Let's think about the exterior and then we can come back to the interior uh, after we like worry about this all a bit more. Cause I feel like we haven't really thought about the exterior at all. So it's not good, <laughs> you know? We need to like think of something for this part and then We'll add to the rest. Okay, so around the back, I'm getting rid of the little half wall vibe that we had, because it's not gonna work with the foundation, but we can maybe find some debug fences. I don't know if there's debug fences from Wedding Stories, so I'm gonna look at that. Um, They do have some pretty wisteria. I don't know if I want that on this. Oh, I used to love this too, when Wedding Stories first came out. No, not much to work with in the wedding pack. Eco Lifestyle also does not have a lot of good debug like landscaping. Eco Lifestyle has a lot of good debug furniture, but the landscaping situation is not so good in Eco Lifestyle. I mean, these things are like, it's basically just the base game stuff, you know? Um, 
I guess there's grass. There's trash in Eco Lifestyle, like literal trash. So there's that. <laughs> But it's not good. It's not like cottage living where cottage living has like a million pieces of debug landscaping that fit so nicely Yeah, it is kind of fun Dika the I or uh, Dika stan account. Sorry <laughs> It is kind of fun the idea of combining different styles You know like trying to mix and match the stuff from a couple different packs because I've never really thought to use these particular packs together um so I think it's like genuinely kind of fun to try and do this and, and fit them and have it be like nice. Oh, that's terrible. I'll take the credit. Okay, Dika, sure. <laughs> Let's just use regular bushes around the pool. Um. Okay. We need to have something actually around the back, but that something could be simpler, like this kind of vibe. And the bushes go on the outside. I don't think that's bad. Any tips for how to not get burnt out on The Sims? Yeah, you know what? People ask me this a lot. I'm such a silly person because I don't get burnt out on The Sims. I am obsessed with this game. <laughs> to a, like a fault. I'm obsessed with The Sims 4 to a fault. But uh, if I were to offer a singular piece of advice to you, I think that trying to find a challenge that interests you and encourages you to do something different is a, a good way to like get yourself back into it. Maybe it's like a Black Widow challenge. Maybe it's like a build challenge, you know? Um, I think that doing some sort of challenge, it can be a small thing, like a single day kind of, uh, today in The Sims in this household, I want to complete this thing and never play with them again. You might find that kind of fun and it might get you out of like a bit of a slump. I know a lot of people kind of play The Sims, they, they'll they play for like, you know, the one day and then not really play again for a while. Um, and I get that, but I, I think that challenges are really helpful in giving you something to feel interested in. I think that also like randomizer challenges might be interesting. It kind of just depends on what you like though. Cause what I think is fun, you might think is boring, you know? Um, but like in this case, I randomized the packs that I should try and use in this build. I have never done that before. It's like new to me to try and do this. And it's actually like been, I think really fun trying to fit these different packs that I don't never really put together together. So um, could be an idea to do something like this too. Obviously, you might not have that many packs. Um, I don't really know what your situation is like. Just throwing out some ideas. Um, but maybe you try a base game build, you know, like who, who knows. Um, you built on this lot today, did you? That's funny, funny coincidence that we're both choosing to do it here today. Um, is the interior done? Uh, I'd say the interior is mostly done. I don't really no, I feel like it's missing a little bit of stuff in some places, but I'm not really sure what that stuff is. So I'm kind of thinking I'll try and work on the outside some more and then come back to the interior. That was sort of my thought process. Um, <laughs> right, define <to> done. <laughs> it's mostly done, I guess. Um, it definitely, it could use a little bit more though. So we'll come back to it. Um, do I want to put this bush like all the way around? Probably not. Yeah, a color theme is kind of a fun build challenge too. That's a great idea. Um, I think it's really fun to do stuff like that where you have like a specific color theme that you're trying to use to build. Um, Cause it might push you out of your comfort zone. You know, try and build something that's like literally only orange. Or, you know, some color that you don't normally pick. See if you can try it. Um, also there's a ton of mods, um, like a t if you're playing on PC and you've got access to mods, that's a good point. There's a ton of gameplay mods that might interest you. You might get like a burst of inspiration from a mod that you didn't really ever think about before. Um, I'm going to see about combining those two together and then getting a grill.
just an idea. That could be kind of fun. So they can use the bar to actually cook. What's the Black Widow challenge? Oh, <laughs> it's fun. You make a sim, you marry somebody, you move into their house, you kill them, you take all their money. Then you do it again with a new person. So you go, you marry Jeffrey Landgrab, you marry Eliza Pan, well, maybe not Eliza Pancake, she's not really rich. You marry Bella Goth, you marry Katrina Caliente, you marry um, just everybody, all the rich sims, and then you take all their money, and then you move again, move on. Vlad, you know? Um, <laughs> but the idea is you have to kill them, which sounds bad, but it's fun. Um, and then you move on to the next one. <laughs> Uh, so, it's really quite good stuff. Daddy Winter is kind of like the jackpot in that though. Oh, you know what's more fun though? That one's so cute. That grill. Maybe that's better. Maybe put that in the corner and then we do like a table with an umbrella. Uh-oh. I don't know if I like this or not. Sorry I yawned, everybody. Um, probably made you yawn too by accident. I think... More interesting chair. Use like these ones, just because you can. Oh, no, 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 no. Wedding stories, wedding stories. Don't be silly, Kayla. These are excellent for this purpose. Oh, that's cute. Okay. You always yawn when someone else yawns. I know, that's why I always apologize when I yawn on stream. I'm like, oh, I just made everybody yawn. <laughs> but then I make a big deal about it, so it probably makes it worse. But anyway, um, force of habit, I guess. Um, eco lifestyle. Another thing that might be kind of fun for you if you're trying to think up like a, a way to make The Sims interesting again, if you're feeling a bit like in a bit of a slump, um, honestly, go look through the aspirations in Cass. What's one that you either have never done or haven't done in ages? Because there's probably some that you just never ever play with. Um, see about trying one of those, you know? Like, try and uh, pick out an aspiration or some sort of feature that's just not usually on your radar. Um, oh, your sims can walk to the grill. They can get back there, don't worry. Um, but see if you can find like, maybe a couple traits that you've never ever played with. Like just like dig around and look for something that is uh, a bit different for you and see if you can try those. Um, also, honestly, playing on a short lifespan has been a huge help for me because I really like to play generationally, but at a certain point, it's like you kind of want to get to the next one, you know? So playing on a short lifespan is kind of fun because there's always a new sim. Like the sims die of old age quite quickly in the grand scheme of things. So you can move on to the next thing quite quickly um, and have like something else, something new to do and play with. Um, so anyway, and then it's a little bit more challenging too because it's harder to like max skills and careers on a short lifespan. It's possible, but it's harder because you've got less time. Um, Is that a base game feature? The short lifespan? Yeah, that's just a setting. So anybody can do that. Um, we're gonna play Among Us on Thursday, by the way. No, the pregnancies aren't faster in a short lifespan. So that is something to kind of consider, I guess, is that it won't make the pregnancies faster. Um, so it uh, kind of throws off the aging a little bit because um, the pregnant sims don't age, but everyone else will more. <laughs> Some people might prefer long lifespan for the exact opposite reasons that I prefer short lifespan, which is always kind of funny to think about. Um, so you might have that sort of outlook on it, but I'm a short lifespan kind of girly. Guys, what kind of tile roof are we going to pick for this? You know what? It's kind of giving mermaid in like a slightly fun way. But also maybe it's too much. If we painted the walls white and then had that, is that too much? Or is it kind of fun? I think it's pretty. I think we can make it work. I kind of like it. 
Wow, mint gen, not so berry, huh? It literally is. <laughs> I kind of like it. Um, terracotta tiles. Yeah, I so that was like the initial thought, right? I don't think that looks as fun. There's something about the all colorful that feels more fun. I don't think I can bring myself to use dark orange stucco on the walls, you guys. Like, yeesh, you know? Doesn't really look good with the vibrance. The vibrant colors are too much. And you can't use the lighter one because the this has a trim at the base. We could maybe use like, you know, something like this, but even then, I think that is absolutely horrendous. This just becomes like kind of a peach, which I don't know. Could always do like a light yellow, I guess, as well. And most of the lighting, it doesn't look that good. There's not a lot of texture to it. You like the pink walls? Do you? What kind of pink? Like that one? I kind of, I still prefer the white because the white has texture. Like look at the difference between these two. The like completely flat interior paint versus the textured like exterior stucco. Are we hard set on stucco? Um, I'm not hard set on it, Dika, but I, if you're gonna suggest siding, I'm not really thrilled about the idea of it. I feel like I always do siding, so. If you've got any ideas, I guess, I'm open to hearing them. But I don't know, that, I feel like the siding kind of changes the vibes. Stucco with a stone accent. Mm. We could maybe do the stucco with a stone accent. I wanna have a chimney so we can make the chimney be stone. And that would be good. And then we'll put more elsewhere too. Um, but we're gonna have the chimney be something. We also have to make the foundation something too. I'm okay with the foundation being like short, but probably not that short don't like the foundation. Of course, there's like barely any um, colors or textures to work with here. Oh, honestly, I think that helps. Okay. You know, the windows have that kind of like creamy tone to it. What did you put in my inventory? <gasps> Everything? Oh my God. Well, we can't paint the walls a different color. It's It simply won't do. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> that is not gonna happen, is it? Um, okay. <laughs> Huge yikes there. Um, Okay, so correct me if I'm wrong. Wedding stories, they do have like two trees in debug, right? Am I in live edit objects? Yeah, I am. I'm not thinking about that one. Oh, I was thinking about this one. I also love this one too. That has the exact right vibes. Um, that could be nice to put back here as well. Fill in some of the lot. Um, yeah, the problem with this one is that it's like a little bit more of a round shape. It kind of blocks the house. That's okay though, right? Okay. Could have been the house for my green gen. I think of this as being more like the mint gen, the gen one of not so berry. There's both, um, but that's kind of a minty color to me. But yeah, our green gen, I went for like a more uh, 
Shrek energy. And I, I stand by that. I liked it. I thought it was cool. So. Your PC crashed during your build. Uh-oh. Save game. Save game. <laughs> you saying that, it's like, okay, everybody save your game quick. <laughs> Ice Queen, thanks for the nine months. Um, okay. Let's try and put some of these little uh, grassy bits by the trees. You built your green gen a swamp? Kinda. They've got like a swampy green cottage. Is kind of what's going on. Oh, that looks terrible. Clipping. Bad. No clipping. No clipping. Okay, sorry. Um. Okay, those are from Eco Lifestyle. Just keep that in mind. I think we need to have like orange flowers. Or some sort of I don't know, like something colorful, I think would be good. Can I mix and match these in there or is that too much? No, oh, I think it might be too much. I also have this little birdhouse I wanted to put there. The alternative maybe also is to do the like pinky ones. Because the pink ones kind of match the pinks that are out here. I don't know if that's better. I may get a chess table. Um, I'm considering using the movie hangout chairs outside. Which is maybe not good because they're like, you know kind of a lot, but they might also be cool. Who knows? That has like the pink accent. That seems like it could be nice, right? It's the last swatch plane. Uh, there's only one plane swatch. I know, it's quite sad. <laughs> They've really failed us with this one. Oh, you know what else we have to use from Movie Hangout? We like were really set on trying to use this couch somewhere. Oh gosh. Um, I guess I could go here. Kinda in the corner. I love that color, but the white one will do probably. We can get a little outdoorsy table too, potentially. Something like that. Yeah, I love this couch. I need to use this couch more often because I haven't really used it much recently. And I think it's really good, especially for the patio like this. Um, Laurel, Emmy, thank you for the subs. That's true, actually. In another build, I think that Laundry Day and Movie Hangout would, would go really well together. Obviously, we're not using Laundry Day today, but I, I think that Laundry Day and Movie Hangout would look really nice together. Um, okay. Hi, Miv. How are you? Good, I hope. The movie hangout tree with lanterns. Oh, I know. We didn't really, not, there's not really like that kind of tree out here. But this one has like those beautiful lanterns hanging from it. I guess we could potentially, like if we really wanted to, we could try and swap this one with this big one and have the lanterns. But I just feel like it's not really the vibes of the lot, you know, like the... The whole thing is so big and there's not any other oak trees over here. So it feels like kind of a random addition, but maybe it's not that bad. It could probably work if we really wanted it to. We're not building on a budget, no. <laughs> we got, there's money that we have left over because um, the originally the sim, like I brought a sim here so I could do some tests, um, play testing, but 
we just, you know, did one mother load and let it be. Uh, not because I'm trying to stick to that, but just because that's how much money they had. So. It's not a budget build, not today. Today is about uh, vibes and packs. <laughs> We're not trying to limit the budget. If we did limit it, we would have finished a long time ago. I'll say that. It's a lot easier to build budget stuff than it is to build um, unlimited. <laughs> um, okay, I'm thinking it would be cute if we had like, oh no. Maybe I could get, oh, you know what might work actually? Does the other movie hangout couch look okay up here? It doesn't really have outdoorsy couch vibes, but we can just, like, make it. You know? We can just tell it to. You can't really see it that well anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, we should get a telescope. It's waterproof. They bring the pillows inside when it's gonna rain, it's fine. Okay. There we go. We got a death trap. Um... <laughs> And then, I mean, we could try to do a couple, maybe some like eco lifestyle. Um, I'm wondering about gameplay items, to be honest. Like maybe if we had, the candle maker is so, oh, you know what? The candle maker, it's small enough. It's the juice one that's too big. The candle maker is small and subtle enough that it could probably work there. The telescope will work underneath the pergola. Yeah, it's fine. It's not under a roof, so it's fine. The telescope just can't work when there's a roof. There's no actual roof. That's just furniture. Um, do you want to get a couple of chairs? Those have kind of outdoor vibes, right? I don't really want to put a ceiling fan because it the pergola won't make it hang at the right height. Did I get the anniversary pin from the Sims shop? I did. It's downstairs still, um, but I did I did buy the anniversary pin from the Sims shop, um, so I have it. I've got all the pins off the Sims merch store, so I felt like I couldn't pass it up. It was a necessity, you know? You have it too? Nice. Yeah, it's good, I like it. I like a pin. I'm a fan, so. That's how they get you. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Look, I, I can justify spending money on Sims merch. I think given my specific situation, I can spend money on Sims merch. <laughs> it must, it's, it's fine. You know? As, as, uh, the Sims girl, if you will. It's fine. <laughs> okay, I'll get some more pink flowers over there, because that's really pretty, actually. Maybe I'll put some more on this side, too. Is that enough? I feel like the outside's kind of boring and bland. Um, no. You love the roofline, it looks so good. What, did that just delete something? What could you possibly have deleted? I don't know where this one was. Oh, it was that one, okay. Shark Pond? Oh, I, the thing is, I would too, except right now, we don't have any packs installed. We don't- we don't have the, uh, we don't have that pack. Specifically, it's that pack that we're missing. That's Get Famous, and we're not using Get Famous in this build. Why does changing the foundation break my decor in the kitchen. 
Like, what does that have to do with anything? I've never really had that problem with the foundation before. But these are alt placed, yeah. I know that it deletes stuff. I only have that issue with wallpaper. I think if I turn off move objects, it should not happen. But I'm annoyed at you, Sims 4, for that. Oh, it didn't turn it off. BB dot move objects off. Oh, well that's even worse. Um, that's not what usually happens. I've never had this problem with foundations before. Is it just that foundation? No, it's any foundation. Um, okay. So we're gonna do a little bit more landscaping. <laughs> If I shift change the foundation? No, uh, it still does it. it. Have you guys had that problem with foundations before? Or is that new? Because I guess maybe I just always do foundation first. So I don't normally encounter this because usually I've already done the foundation. I've only ever had it with wallpaper. I've never had it with the foundation before. So that's really weird and new to me. But I guess I probably just only ever do foundation in the beginning, so it doesn't really affect it. It doesn't really affect me in that way, I guess. Um, well, maybe the foundation has to be blank then. Weird. Yeah, it happens to me a fair bit with the wallpaper. I don't know if it's gonna happen now, but yeah, see? <laughs> but in this case, it's doing it with everything. <laughs> Oh god, there's always something. Every time you play The Sims, there's always something new and exciting for you to worry about. It's great fun. Um. Okay, you place that too. I think I may get another one of these little garden pots. Better Build Buy has a deletion protector. Yeah, it's a uh, Better Build Buy is a fantastic mod. Um, okay, that seems good. I don't really know if I like it. Should we get a swing set? We've got like two kids rooms. We can't, oh, sorry, I meant monkey bars. I saw people in chat yelling swing set and I was like, let's do monkey bars instead. But should we do a, a set of monkey bars? Cause I can put them in pink. We have a lot of pink accents. Um, do I have two mailboxes? Oh, this is a, not a mailbox, it's a birdhouse. Understandable confusion though. <laughs> it is a birdhouse instead actually. Um, okay. So, we have all these beautiful colors inside and the outside's not really as vibrant, but there's also just not as much that really can be done, I would say. I mean, we can get ourselves a couple little of these pink planter boxes. I think that's fine, right? Um siding columns, we could do that. There's not a lot of columns that I like for that in the base game though. Oh, ew. I never put, here, get a window on this wall. Do a little switch, put these on this wall. That's an improvement. Okay, looks better from the outside. Can't really put a window here, unless I wanted the window to be like behind the oven. Which isn't really my vibe, but could be nice. I don't know. What do you think about that? 
No curtains in the kids room. I don't really care about curtains in there. I mean, it fits nicely, I guess. But the kid doesn't need curtains to sleep. They're fine. Yeah, I don't really like to put windows um, there, like behind um, ovens. I do it when I have a fr like a sink there or whatever. I almost said fridge. <laughs> I don't put a window behind the fridge. I do it when I have a sink there, but I don't really like to put the oven in front of a window because I guess I always kind of think that it's like gonna get greasy. But um, it's The Sims, so that doesn't happen. You know? Okay, a couple more things around the place. And then... Sink yes, stove no. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel about it too. For the most part. <sighs> okay. So, with the packs that we have, the edge columns... I always use these big square ones when I have just the base game. And I do like these. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be like... I don't know. Let's just see if it's fine, okay? We'll, we'll mess around, we'll test it out and stuff. Can always delete them. I wish that we had a more simple plane column. I really don't like the round one. That's the problem with for me with the base game. It's like, I find that round one to be kind of ick. I can try it, but... Yeah, the round one's like shiny. It's like a different, it's almost like plastic or something. I'm a little bit tempted to use the round one, just because I never do. I don't like it as much. That's a bad, that's a bad reason, right? Yeah, why don't we have a simple square column in the base game? Just why? Makes no sense. Absolutely no sense. Um, but I don't know. I'm being a little too picky. Yeah, I think they should pull the get together column to the base game. I agree. I think that they should bring it for everybody to have. At this point, get together is so old. Just give the people the column. It's fine. The get together column is like the most useful item in the entire game. <laughs> Sounds like I'm being dramatic, but I'm not. I really mean that when I say it. <laughs> or give us another one. Like, another one would be good. There's one from Snowy Escape, too. Um, that's, like, similar vibes. Just plain. We just need, like, a plain column that comes in white and, like, various plain simple wood swatches and stuff. Um, which column? It's just a plain square one. I, I don't have the pack installed right now. But... Anyway... They've taken hairs from university. Why can't we have the column? Exactly. Exactly. Okay, couple last things. I think on this, I feel like we need to get like a... No, maybe not. Well, you know what else we need is like some sort of plant up here. Or that's another thing. If the wallpaper didn't auto place, like, if the trim on the edge of the wallpaper didn't auto-place, if you could, like, custom do trim on edges like that, then it would also be not as big of a deal. I'm talking about, like, with, the, you know, like, with the siding, um, when it places the trim custom, like, there in the corner. But not always. It, like, won't place it here. Oh my god, I'm breaking things. But it won't place it when it's just a one tile wide. Boo. I know, auto place was like an improvement when they made the game, but it's actually bad and no one likes it. <laughs> it was supposed to be an improvement within The Sims 4 from like before, but it's actually worse and all of us hate it. <laughs> you did not make things better, you made them worse. <laughs> I wanted to go back to The Sims 3 days where I could custom, or if you could like toggle it on and off or something. That too. But but even so, for me, the bigger issue is that I want to custom place the trim. I want to force it. 
If it worked, imagine if the trim wallpapers worked kind of like this. And there was like left end piece, right end piece, no end pieces. Like, like if there was this and it worked like the cabinets, that'd be perfect. I know it's a lot of work. It's not like it's easy, but that, that's what I want out of it. Um, if you could like adjust it that way. Um, anyway, <laughs> that would be the dream. Thank you to the Sims for considering my ideas. I know you're not listening, but anyway. <laughs> oh, if you could custom place the stair railings on either side of the stairs. I don't understand why you can't do that in this game. Like, why can't I hold shift and put it on just one side, like everything else? Yeah, or like trim on both sides. Yeah, exactly. That would be perfect. Um, but anyway, in The Sims 3, it wasn't separate swatches. In The Sims 3, it was like this wallpaper would have like, it would be the same thing three times. It'd have like the right end piece, the left end piece, and the middle. Um, and that I thought worked just fine. So, forgot to change a column on the left. Oh, did I? Oh my gosh, I forgot these. That would have been embarrassing. The more I look at the round ones, the more I dislike them, actually. So that's a huge yikes, but it's okay. <laughs> It'd be like tiles with edges. Yeah, kind of like that, a little bit. Um, but I care more about the wallpaper than I do about the tiles. So. Just go straight in the corner, how about that? Oh no, go in this corner, actually. I like the big long pool. How does it look at night? It's actually not too bad. Okay. Um, I don't know what I wanna do with the pool tile. This will be the last thing. I kinda like this one. I always like how it makes it look a little bit brighter. But. Okay. I feel good about this house. I think I feel good about it. I really like the color scheme of the interior. It's bright and fun. And I, I think it was fun to use some of this stuff. Like this movie hangout rug. I barely ever use that thing. Honest, I barely ever use it. And we used it in like quite a few different swatches here, like five different swatches. Um, we really got a chance to like uh, try it out in a bunch of different ways. Um, and I like that about it. I think it worked out pretty nicely. I think that the living room came together pretty well too after we spent ages trying to figure out a color scheme. So <laughs> there's a little bit of pink wallpaper on the outside. Do you know where? I don't think there is. I thought I fixed it all. Um, no, the pergola does not disappear during gameplay. It's kind of annoying. Um, but anyway, so when you first come inside, this is the little entryway table. We've got the dining room, the living room. Here's the kitchen. I wish that we had like, I wish that we had dream home decorator, I think. That would have been good for this, but we got wedding stories instead. Oh, tiny! Oh my God, a shrimp. Hello, shrimp. Let me get you. hold on. I know it's dinner time. You're like, what are you doing in here? No, come back over here. Don't go in the tree, come. Oh my God, he's out of my reach. You can see his tail. No, that's bad. It's fine. <laughs> Trippy, come here, buddy. Can I get you? I can and I will. Ugh. Oh my God, he's like a million pounds. Here's Shrimp, um, my 11 pound kitten, who all of a sudden is not so tiny anymore. So the people, look at them. Oh no, okay. You don't have to sit with me if you don't want to, Shrimpy. You can go on the desk. Anyway, he's 11 pounds now. He's actually giant. <laughs> he's way bigger than Snap is. He's gonna be huge when he gets when he gets full grown. He's almost, but um, he got big. <laughs> he does have yellow eyes, yeah. And Sunny is very close in weight to Snap, but still a little bit smaller than her. Snap weighs like 8.6 pounds, um, and Sunny probably weighs like 8.4 or something. Um, so she's gonna be probably similar size to Snap. Snap's kind of small, average small, um, and Shrimp's big and a boy, so. <laughs> um, how old are they? Uh, they were born in July, we assume, so. Um, yeah, some boy cats can be quite big. 
I don't know. He just seems especially big because his sisters are little, you know? Um, Snap seems bigger than that. Yeah, she's only little. She also, she she looks a lot bigger than Sunny, but Sunny has like a little pea head, and also Snap is like fluffier than, than them too. Um, so it makes the kittens like look a bit smaller, uh, even though Snap is like actually small, she's just fluffier. Um, but yeah, Shrimp's gonna get even bigger, he's gonna, he's gonna fill out more. Like, he's quite lanky still, he's just getting, like, tall, you know? Um, well, she does have kind of a pea head, it's okay. Her head's, like, this big or something. She's so, she's, and then she's got these bug eyes. <laughs> Sunny looks kind of weird, it's okay. It's okay. She's really growing into herself. She's, it's, um, she's doing a lot better. She's doing a lot better, especially because, you guys, it was rough, like, a couple months ago before she got spayed. When she got spayed, she had a big stress problem. Um, like, she had, like, a big stress reaction to her surgery. So we had to get her on, like, calming medicine and, like, because she was scratching herself. So she was, like, ball on her tummy, ball on her neck, scab on her neck because she was scratching herself so bad. Um, we go to the vet, the vet was like, maybe it's ringworm, it wasn't, she was just stressed. But, so she looked, she was looking rough. She was like this big, she was like all scratching herself. I took her to the vet like multiple times about it because I got scared there was something wrong with her and she was like, I was like, is she like not growing and now she's balding? Like is something wrong? No, she's fine. She's fine. She was just anxious. I get it. In fact, I relate heavily to the scratching at yourself from anxiety. <laughs> The way I pick it myself, me and you, one and the same. I get it, Sunny. Like, seriously, I understand. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm sorry that I um, passed that on to you, little one. But <laughs> she's doing a lot better. She's not doing that anymore. She hasn't scratched herself in ages. It's been months. Like, her fur is all grown back. So, she looks normal now. And she's filling out more, too. So, she looks more like a cat. <laughs> I'm sorry to be mean to her. She really was giving sewer rat though. When we first found her and when she was like going through all that, serious sewer rat energy. It was really rough, but it's okay. She's better now. <laughs> it's the vibe, I guess, you know? We found her in a sewer, she's embracing it. Um, but now she's more cat-like, so. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sunny. I love her. She's so cute. The other night, um, Snap always- Snap is very cuddly compared to the kittens. Um, Snap is like seriously one to cuddle. I might put this bill in the gallery, by the way, while we're talking. Um, but Snap is way more cuddly, especially during the day. Um, Snap will like lay across my arm. She'll like put all of her weight on my body and it feels like she's a million pounds. She's like a serious cuddler. I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna sit on the couch. I'll have the cat there for like three hours tonight. Every time. Um, but <laughs> Snap will like- tuck herself into your arm. Like if you're laying in the bed, like arms kind of out, she'll like tuck herself into the nook of your arm and like curl up in there. Well, the other night, cause Sunny likes to lean up against my legs in the bed. That's more of her spot. The other night I was reading in bed and I looked down, Snap had been there in my arm. I looked down, Sunny's in my arm. And I was like, now when did, cause Sunny was at the foot of the bed and now she's in my arm. When did the, where, when did the switch happen? <laughs> but I think Snap left and then Sunny was like, I'm gonna do that. That's a good spot. I'm gonna go there. <laughs> she's like a little copycat. If there's like a good spot, she's like, I'm gonna do it. But I, I didn't like register the switch for some reason. It's like, I looked down and there was a different cat there. Same spot, same like, but <laughs> it was a different one. <laughs> so anyway, it's funny how they do that though. Um, what are we gonna call this house? I used a randomizer to tell me what packs to build with. Movie hangout, eco lifestyle, and wedding stories. To replace, let me put the name of the lot down too, in Tartosa, all right. So, Boho getaway. Oh, that's nice. Should we do that? Literally a copycat. Yeah, that would be mine. That would be my cats. <laughs> they all copy each other with the like spaces to sit and stuff. It's funny. They, I really have been enjoying watching like 
Snap's behaviors rub off on the kittens and also the kittens like teaching Snap things. I was telling chat the other day, but Snap has never, ever been able to drink out of her water fountain. I got one. She, this, like, I've been trying this, you guys, for like five years. She never wanted to drink out of it. The most she would do is like stick her paw in there. Well, when we found the kittens, I put the, the water fountain out for them. They loved it. They drank out of it immediately. Instantly liked it. Snap drinks out of it now. <laughs> Despite like multiple tries over multiple years, she never cared. Now she's seen the kittens do it. She always drinks out of it. And like, she's like, oh, I can drink that. <laughs> and now she drinks out of it. <laughs> but she had to like see someone else do it to be like, oh, okay. But like they, they've taught each other. I just think that's so cute. Like Snap, she's learning from them. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, and like your cats, they learn from each other too. I just think <laughs> maybe learns from Juno, maybe not vice versa. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> One of them is always gonna benefit more, you know? <laughs> I was thinking about this also a couple days ago because I realized it's been more than six months now since I found the kittens. Um, and I, like in the beginning, I was extremely stressed. Like the uh, introduction process between Snap and the kittens was very difficult for me. I did everything right, like with, you know, distance and time and between the walls and sniffing through the walls and eating on either side of the door and blah, blah, blah. We, it was a slow process, but like, um, it was still very difficult to like watch Snap be so angry. Like we, I did this, I had them like in a closed room and I took them out and then let Snap go in there so she could sniff it. Snap was furious. She was hissing at the chair cause it smelled like the cats. Like she was so mad. And now they can all be on the bed at the same time, <laughs> you know? Um, and it's, it's uh, very rewarding like six months on now that we have um, made this progress and like things are better. Um, so it's just really good. It's gone very well. And I, you know, it's a process introducing your pets. And I, I think anytime you get a new pet also, there's like a huge, even though it's exciting, there's like a huge like adjustment period, um, even for you as the person and not for the other animals that don't understand. Um, but now that it's been some time and like everybody's kind of settled in more, it's just really nice, so. Anyway, <laughs> I've really uh, adjusted easily to all of the cats and it's just been, every, everyone's adjusted to each other and everything's good. So <laughs> things are going well and it's great. Um, Frankie and the other kittens, so that's the mom and their brother, Sam, that my parents adopted. They're doing fantastic. Sam and Lemon, my parents' other cat, Shanna sent me a, a video yesterday of Lemon licking Sam. Like he grooms him. They get along fantastically. Frankie's not like besties with Lemon. Um, Lemon's kind of the middleman between them. Um, Frankie more is like, she's she's a little bit more, uh, I don't know, she wants to be alone a bit more. The boys like to be together a lot and Frankie's more like, I don't wanna be around you guys that much, but she'll hang out with them, but not like, you know, in a pile <laughs> like the boys will. Um, but my parents' cat has really adjusted very nicely to, to the other two cats. Um, and the dogs are just excited about them, so it's fine. My parents' dogs are also um, really old, so it's not really like a, they're not really threatening to the cats. Like, <laughs> like Bimmy can, she's like struggling to, to stand up sometimes from her seated positions because she's getting old now, so. Um, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Captain's doing well. He his toe is healed quite nicely. He got his stitches out and stuff. My one of my parents' dogs had to get his cancerous toe amputated like two weeks ago. They've been going through it. They've really been going through it, but everything's fine. So <laughs> love the name Lemon. I like it too. When they adopted him, his name was already Lemon at the shelter. My parents had this weird thing about naming all of their pets after fish. And when they got Lemon, I was like, you have to keep it. It's too good. You actually can't change it. You can't. I had to like, you guys, I went to war for that. I was like, Lemon is a is the perfect name. He's like blonde too. The technical coloring is buff for a cat, but he's like basically a blonde tabby cat. Um, and I was like, Lemon is too good. And the only way that they could be convinced is because there's a thing called a Lemon Shark. So it was deemed acceptable <laughs> because there's a lemon shark and they were like, oh, it's great.
great. Um, but his it, his name is Lemon. So. <laughs> and Sam, Little Sewer Sam. We called them that because they all all the kittens had S names to go with the name Sewer. Salmon, so it's acceptable to them. Frankie, she escaped. She didn't get she didn't get involved in that. She was lucky because they didn't know they were gonna adopt her. I named her Frankie when they started seeing her around outside as a stray. And I was like, oh, we should call her Frankie because it's great and like gender neutral. And it worked, I convinced them. And now her, the, the name stuck, they can't get rid of it. Frankie is a cool name. I like it. Anyway, <laughs> that's the update. That's everything. Um, the bill's on the gallery if you want to download it. I'm sorry for talking about cats so much. I could literally sit here and talk about cats all day like all day. Um, but I think on that note, I may go and find somebody to raid. Um, we play a lot of the Sims here. We're gonna be playing Sims here tomorrow as well if you wanted to come by. Um, as far as like other things this week, tomorrow we're playing Not So Berry. On Wednesday we're playing House Slipper and Thursday we're playing Among Us. So a couple fun things going on this week. I posted the stream schedule in the Discord server if you're looking for it, if maybe you wanted to go and see. Um, it's always like posted in your time zone and stuff too, which hopefully is helpful to you. Um, but I think that, um, oh, you know what? I have a very dear friend called Nega Oryx who is doing some Sims building right now. Um, I know that I don't think she's been around streaming too much too recently. So uh, she's like back now and I have not hung out with her in a bit. So I kind of want to go over there. The title of the stream says day two of 30 Sims builds in 30 days. That is actually really fun. The idea of that, like doing a build a day for a whole month. That's pretty cool. So let's go over there and say hi. Um, I will catch you all tomorrow. Have a wonderful rest of your night. Thanks for hanging out and building with me. Uh, Mango and Jules and Mac and Mimi and Tiger. Thank you all for the subs. And I am going to catch you all tomorrow. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye. Oops, where's the button? Stop streaming.